Wavy, wavy, wavy at YouTube. Wave at YouTube. Hi. Wait, no. Hi, YouTube. We're live, waving at YouTube. I don't know when exactly we went live, but we're waving. We're waving. I don't know. I totally didn't forget to start the YouTube stream. We're still in the intro. YouTube warp time. <laughs> See you over there. <laughs> Thirty-two mods, your smallest list ever. We only have what, like four, four mods. If you had Prime, you got to watch it early. Oh, I canceled my Prime. Hi, nice Alicia. Ghouls are not shamblers. Ghouls, shamblers, ghouls, shamblers. Used to be Gossamer crewmate. Then your flesh began flowing and reforming, and now you're a Gossamer ghoul. <laughs> All right. I guess I should read this again since I forgot to start the YouTube stream. The anomaly. Your research expedition has finally arrived at the source of the anomalous signal, an ancient architect monolith on a distant planet. As you survey the structure from orbit, the scanner's audio feed forms garbled syllables which repeat your own name over and over. Your crewmate screams as her flesh begins flowing and reforming. A blinding beam of energy reaches up from the planet and tears your vessel apart. You have disturbed something ancient and inhuman. Note! This is a difficult scenario not intended for new players. You will start as a research expedition. Start with one ghoul and two colonists. Start with research security door. Start with research battery. And the incident is a ghoul transport pod crash. No, incident created. Ghoul transport pod crash. Start with... 45 PSMs. 100 twisted meats or uh, twisted twizzlers meat twizzlers i don't know 45 medicine 45 components a holding platform don't know a uh, proximity detector don't know textbooks tomes a pump shotgun notice pump shotgun we're starting with what do we what do we normally start with a pistol bolt, bolt action rifle bolt action and a revolver we're starting with a pump shotgun and a steel knife. Cool transport pod sounds like a low-budget action horror flick. <laughs> Can a doji hello over on the YouTubes? We also start with a shard, a turret pack, bioferrite, wood, steel, and plasteel. And across the map will be 700 steel and five ship chunks scattered. I don't- I don't know, chat. We might be too inexperienced to play this. We- we might be too inexperienced. <laughs> I don't know what Bioferrite is. Bioferrite, turret pack, shard... Textbooks? Maybe the tome? These are all new? Proximity detectors, holding platform... Boop. Fused. Thanks, Buttspot. What is the hour count again? Oh, my playtime? 2,258 hours. I think we're too inexperienced. <laughs> Alright, next. We're gonna, of course gonna play Randy. Tier 3 player. My favorite difficulty is Strive to Survive. I like Reload anytime. This gotta be more than like 95% of remote players? I don't think so. I mean, maybe. You're hoping for a new storyteller. Yeah, that would've been cool. Uh, but I don't know what storyteller they would've introduced. I mean, Cassandra... is your slow and steady. Slow and steady difficulty increase. Predictable. Predictable difficulty ramping. Phoebe is... chill. She still ramps up, but she's chill about it, and then... Randy's random. Currently almost 30,000 people playing remote. <laughs> yep. And every streamer ever. 
I was I was saying earlier that one of my favorite streamers to watch in the evening, who again normally streams in the evening for me, like starts his stream usually about the time I end, is streaming early to play bi uh, biotech um, anomaly, and I'm very disappointed because I was really looking forward to streaming and then like hopping over into that stream and being like, I'm an experience. This is a I'm, I'm gonna see what your experience is like. But no, now I get to miss it. Could always watch the VOD frowny face. The one from the promo art based on the old mod Lovecraft Storyteller from ROM. From a madness? Your team must play games on Steam, GTA, and RimWorld. Mine, mine's RimWorld, Crusader Kings, and Dwarf Fortress. If you don't count a cookie clicker. All right, let's. We're gonna do reload, Randy, and strive to survive. I think it's just a nice difficulty. Let's do fifty percent global coverage. The seed is red. Red seems appropriate. I'm wearing red eyeliner today. In theme. It would have been cool to have had maybe some new factions, too. That's how long it took you to beat, Miss? 6.9 hours? I saw yesterday that they're actually remaking Riven, which is the sequel to Mist. But they're making it remaking it how they made the 2021 version, which I'm very excited about. Generate world. These symbols look new. Little mod symbols. Oh, my cat is sitting on my desk and he's laying on my mouse cable and I pulled it out a little bit and it woke him up and he said, <laughs> what kind of biome should we pick? Which Crusader Kings? CK3. Yeah, Rimworld. Followed by Crusader Kings 3 and then Dwarf Fortress are my three most played games. Excluding idol games and one other game that I don't talk about because I don't want to promote it because of reasons. Riven, the sequel to Miss the Remake. <laughs> Yeah, I'm very excited. The remake for Mist was great, and I've never played Riven, and I was thinking it would be fun to play it. But it comes out later this year, as a remake. Your third most is Baldur's Gate. It's probably getting up there for me. If Celentre's hours counted as my own too, it would, it would definitely be up there. A lot of my playtime is actually through Celentre's account. Hi there, Steven Palmer. Hello. On the YouTube stream, hello. Maybe I should have a voice changer so you know when I'm talking to YouTube versus Twitch. <laughs> what biome do you want? We're not using any of my, my fun mods that give us new, new interesting biomes. These are all vanilla. Sharp Mouse Island. Where was Sharp Mouse Island? Oh. The Red Range. I feel like we should live in the Red Range. This is... The seed was red. We could live in the Red... Range. Hi, Insanity Moose. You have a lot of game games with zero hours, and you have 6,700 in RimWorld. Wow. That's a lot. Volcano. I don't even think volcanoes are vanilla. Velia C sounds nice. Where did you see that? Black Octopus C? That seems... On point. Cthulhu. Black Octopus C. Alpaca Shoulder C.
Put two things on top of your monitor when you talk to Twitch, look at one. When I talk to YouTube, look at the other. But yeah, but uh, a lot of people only listen with audio. Farm... Far Hamster Peaks. Sharp Mouse Island actually exists. Where are you seeing this? Oh, you mean IRL? I'm looking for, for Sharp Mouse Island and I don't see it. I also don't see Avelia C. Oh, Sharp Mouse Island. Okay, I found one. Okay, Black Octopus Sea sounds cool. The island! The water's not safe anymore. Red Weasel Forest. Red Range. I still feel like we should do the Red Range. Our hamster is east of Black Octopus. Far Hamster Peaks. Maybe we should situate ourselves between Red Range and Black Octopus Sea. <laughs> Red and Black. The colors of the anomaly, maybe? Question mark? Almost managed to finish one last ship launch before the DLC. Reactor was ready one hour before DLC, and then some pesky raiders stole your Persona Corp. <laughs> oh no. It wasn't meant to be. Pelican Wrist is northeast and sounds amazing too. Where's near Hamster Peaks? I don't know. I still haven't found this sea that you mentioned. I don't see it. All right. Also, pun intended, by the way. I was a, that was intentional. <laughs> it's between Black Octopus Sea and Far Hamster Range. Are awesome directions to give. What about the Red Range? All right. I think chat wants to be between the Black Octopus Sea and Far Hamsters. I thought Red Range sounded cool because we could have lived in a tropical rainforest with new ambient sounds. There are, there are new jungle sounds. But if you want to live over here instead, we can do that. We could live in a swamp. Swampy Swampy. You vote jungle? So it's either temperate forest or the swamp. Temperate swamp or temperate forest, pretty much. I mean, there's also a desert. There's an arid, arid shrubland, but that seems boring. Have a good one. Just a puppy, thanks for joining us. There is an impassable mountain range. I guess you can actually pass through it right there. Maybe that's where I'll live. Right there. Even having water on the map is not necessarily a good thing anymore. The mechanoids can be in the water. We could live here. It's right next to pollution, though. And the pollution on the map does creep, right? It, there is pollution creep. Also, thank you so much for the follow. Welcome, welcome. Mild climate area would probably be good considering the update. I mean, this actually is a fairly mild climate. The low is 36 Fahrenheit, which is above freezing. Pollution is from biotech. You get regular pollution storms if you're too close. How close is too close? The Red Range. With a huge river. Is this an impassable mountain?
Wait, it let me embark on an impassable mountain? Oh, no, it's not impassable. It's just a huge mountain. There's a huge river and a huge mountain. Special feature, caves. <laughs> that would just be chaotic. It'll give you a warning when you try to settle. Okay. Okay, this location has a huge river. It's mountainous, so it's just going to be all mountain. Not the whole thing. It's just going the, the map is going to largely be mountains if we were to settle here. With a huge river, which could all have mechanoids. Mechanoids can emerge from water now. They don't emerge from the mountains though. It's in a, a tropical rainforest. It would be year-round growing, so we would have a higher incidence of disease. And also watery mechanoids. And insects, because we'd be in the mountain. That's probably where I would pick over here. Between the Red Range and the Black Octopus Sea. If we were to instead settle between the Black Octopus Sea and the Far Hamster Peaks, we have a lot of choices, but there's a, a bit of pollution. There a bit of pollution. So the places I would want to go, like along a road, are all fairly polluted. Although over here. There's a mountainous uh, uh, tile. A mountainous tile with a dirt road. The stone types are slate and granite. Caves, of course there are caves. I just want marble. All the maps with marble have caves. This one has marble and caves. This one has marble and caves. And then when I was looking at the one over here, this one also had marble and also caves. Marble, caves. So these are really our only options for roads. This tile is near polluted tile, so there would be an acidic smog roughly every 40 days. It slows plant growth, deteriorates exposed items, and makes people unhappy. Okay, so that's, that was one tile away from a polluted tile. The only reason for settling along a road would be if we did want a caravan, it would be faster here. It would be much faster. To depart. What do we have an anomalous disease? I do think that there are new diseases. 1.5 introduced new diseases. Organ decay? Organ rot? Organ decay. Sandstone, slate, and limestone. I really want marble. I like marble. Mountains, huge river, no caves. Sounds nice. Hey, Farron. This one over here. Doesn't have any marble, though. Wow. The average disease frequency goes up considerably from 0.9 to 1.7. 1 1.2. In the temperate forest. It was 0.7 in the desert. Yeah, I, I vote let's let's open in the rainforest. Movement difficulty of five. It is uh there's gonna be a huge mountain, a huge river, granite, sandstone, year round growing. And there's no nearby pollution. Oh nearby pollution. It looks like, wait, one, two, one tile, two tiles, three tiles, four tiles, five. It's five tiles away. 
nearby pollution 0.4. The sum of pollution levels of all tiles within a four tile radius. As the distance from this increases, pollution contribution decreases. So yeah, five tiles out. To escape the effects of pollution. So I vote we go over here. We might get lucky on the caves if we go for the marble. Then we're going to have to be dealing with mega spiders and also... I don't know, we could, we could just try it. What could go wrong? Marble, granite, and slate. It is going to be harder to move. If we went here, we at least have two tiles of... Very, very little movement difficulties, so we'd be able to leave the colony quickly. If we go here, we're surrounded by mountains, and we have to, you know, embark over mountains. We can try it. I don't normally, I don't normally go for go for caves. Let's, let's do it. Are they only treatable by late stage research stuff? I have no idea. I haven't... I haven't played this yet. I don't know. This is going to be an interesting embark. We at least get to hear the new jungle ambience. Let me pull up that... The change log again. Added new jungle night ambient sound effects. This removes the old high-pitched noises. New jungle. Tropical rainforest. Do we get a new ideology? Oh, yeah, we do. There is a new ideology, the void followers. There is no truth except the void. Let us learn its secrets and bathe in the endless black ocean near Black Octopus Sea? It's a strong belief. I have no idea what it might be. Pain is virtue? There is greater energy in the universe. Through ritual, we can understand it and harness its power. Archotech are the true gods. They know the moral structure of the universe, and serving them is how we will connect to it. I feel like there's other new stuff here, too. Techno Utopia. Which one of these have we're already here? Nudist recruiters, I feel like, is new? Martyrs? Cowboys is new, right? Eminent Ravagers? Dark humans. The human race flourishes in the darkness of night and underground. Yeah, I'm definitely gonna pick Void Followers. <laughs> the Void Follower ideology. Although... Create a fluid ideology. I just want to see. Yeah, ritualist is the only thing that's new. Psychic rituals are exalted. Void study very efficient. Requires one of the following precepts. Research extremely slow, very slow, or slow. And the style that you get is morbid. All right, Void Followers, then. What are our three colonists gonna be? David Schneider. Has asthma. Abrasive, chemical interest, and sickly? I don't know about that. Doctor! Ali, Dr. Purple. Ambrosia addiction, careful shooter, chemical fascination, and abrasive. Enrique, Starship Janitor. 
a baseliner, but a ghoul. A ghoul. This person has been implanted with an architect shard, twisting them into a jittering murder machine. Its body is an amalgam of flesh and metal, while its mind cycles between half-conscious stupor and murderous intent. They cannot work, they only fight. Fools must eat raw meat. If they go hungry, they can turn hostile. Many find ghouls constant twitching to be disturbing, even if they aren't killing someone. Their minimum comfortable temperature is negative 72 Fahrenheit. Their max is 72. <gasps> we should have been using Fahrenheit and Celsius. Whoopsies. Minimum containment strength. Yeah, that's, that's, that's the only issue. Hold on, let me turn the command back on. be able to join the queue. I had it disabled because when we do giveaways through fourth wall, they use the same command. So now you should be able to enter the queue. Twitchy boy. Yeah, they're, they're twitchy. Twitchy, twitchy. I only have one option. Why are they all abrasive? All, all three of them are abrasive. So would this be the... The colonist whose flesh twisted and, 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 well, what was the description they used? Twisted and reformed? Is that them? Okay. Pyromaniac. Incapable of firefighting. Let's see. Undergrounder, chemical interest, nudist. Abrasive. Everybody's abrasive. Delicate, misandrist, greedy. Body pierced, wimp, creepy breathing. I'm just gonna re-roll some people. <laughs> Iron-willed, fast walker, wimp. Lazy, psychically sensitive, optimistic. Nudist, chemical fascination. Undergrounder. Husband, en Enrique. The ghoul? Father David Schneider. Undergrounder. Actually, this is this is a pretty good colonist. This is this is what Kiku. Husband is is our goal. The emergent story. Yeah, if I re-roll. The ghoul? Does the relationship stay? Probably. What is ghoul regeneration? It's two different tooltips. This creature is experiencing an impossibly fast rate of regeneration supported by a distant Arcano technological engine. They will hear nearby nearly any wound in a short time. 100 HP per day. Don't think it stays. A flesh mass, the lung. A cancerous mass of semi sentient flesh. The tissue constantly regrows and replaces itself, making it immune to effects like lung rot and asthma. The organ has its own neural structures and may become dangerous if removed. Okay. Butt spot. <laughs> Butt spot shine and join the queue. Okay, I'm actually interested in these three. We have no cooking skill and no intellectual ability. <laughs> I'm sure we'll be fine. But David is the father of Kiku 
And Enrique is the husband of Kiku. Which we're gonna rename. But we have no cooking skill and no intellectual ability. I'm sure it will be fine. Surely. Surely it will be fine. Purple microphone? Alright, you got it. Hi, Kayatoshi. I think it shrunk. The mic cover. It's also really hairy. <laughs> Let's use this very dirty lint roller real fast. Lint roller ASMR. <laughs> it's all squished. It got squished in my drawer. Okay, yeah, let's go with let's go with these three. Loot alert. I don't know what you want me to say. There's no other way to get these on here. I'm not looking forward to an abrasive, sickly chemical interest pawn, but I'm gonna I'm gonna keep David Schneider because their relationship is interesting. But I'm gonna test something real fast. Your daughter is Larissa Reeves. It changed, yeah. Now daughter taught Yana Cameron. So maybe we could re-roll our ghoul to get a better ghoul. Hi, Dujel. Squished mic covers are the worst. It's my fault. For squishing it in my drawer, I guess. The only reason why I want to reroll is because if this goal serves, ghoul serves one purpose only, and that is to fight, I kind of want one that fights better. Then two and two. And... I assume they only fight melee? Do they have any they don't have any social skills, so the, the their traits don't matter. Ghouls night out. We're just gonna randomize. Okay, we keep we keep the ghoul. Oh no, but we lost the husband thing. Ah dang. A wimp. Ex lover. No, I want. I want. I want a husband or something of of Kiku because I want to see how that works. What happens when your family members are turned into ghouls? Although this is actually a really good. A really good draw. Melee and shooting of eight with a passion, I assume. Even though they're ghouls, they still learn quickly, right? Instead, they, they are brother and sister. And David Schneider is their father. Alright, let's do that. Um, I need to pick names. Stream Deck reset again. I wish it would stop doing this. Okay. Pick. Oscar. We choose your name, Oscar. Did you just enter the queue with the name Oscar? Yeah. All right. We have to change, like, both names, right? Yeah. Asuka Schneider. <laughs> Kiku. What will Kiku's name be? Flame Thrower. Too bad... Too, too bad neither of them's a... Pyro. That would have been... Pretty fortunate. <laughs> 
fortuitous. You want to be Kiku or O Oduro? You want to be the ghoul or the human? I feel like ghouls should be afraid of fire. I don't. I don't think that they are. Make you the ghoul. You're so pretty. <laughs> Flamethrower. Alright, our last colonist. Ghouls- oh no, we got ghouls night out. Not on the ghoul. Ghouls night out. Hi from YouTube chat. Decided to switch to Twitch. Hi, ham is food. I'm, I've been super focused on... on this. I haven't even checked... the YouTubes. Yay purple. It's okay, nothing was really said except yay purple. The irony. Ghoul's night out and flamethrower. I feel like I... I gotta make this a capital P. Jeffrey flamethrower. Should I leave the original name? What was it? Daniel? David? David. That way we can see what their original names were. Welcome in, Hemsford. Hope you're doing well. We got our three colonists. Asuka. Childhood. Herb world urchin. Adulthood. Colony settler. Hmm. Abrasive. Chemical interest. Sickly. This is going to be an annoying colonist. But at least good with the shooting and the fighting. And the construction, the plants, and the medicine. Fool's Night Out, Cave Rolled Tender, turned Evangelist, is an undergrounder, which is good because she excels at mining, plants, art, social. And then we have Flamethrower, the space marine that uh, is now a ghoul. I'm not really sure how the relations are gonna work. Brother plus 15, ghoul minus 20. Look at this. Ghoul's night out is judging flamethrower the ghoul brother for being a ghoul. Can they talk? I don't, I don't know. It does say that they're incapable of social. But that doesn't mean they can't talk, right? Ghoul babies. I, I don't even know if they can do that. Coma child. Turned space marine turned ghoul. I think... I think that's it, chat. I think this is what we're starting with. No health conditions here. This was a good roll. Decent traits, considering we're going into a base of all mountain. Basically. And... Asuka does have asthma and a stab scar, but I think we'll be okay. Hi, mages. Ghouls only fight, it seems, based on the preview post. No work. Yeah, they don't- they don't do work. It... It's pretty upfront about that. They won't work. They only fight. But I also don't know if they can... talk. Because they have relations. And I assume these are relations from... before turning into the ghoul. I'm not really sure how you get turned into a ghoul, and if you can maintain relationships once you become a ghoul. Yeah, it is a, it's a negative 20 to relations, so... For instance, Ghoul's Night Out has... A positive 15 for brother, negative 20 for ghoul. Flamethrower, though, has an opinion of plus 15. So despite being a ghoul, still has opinions. You have relationships with your cat, but that doesn't mean he actually talks. <laughs> My cat talks. He says, meow! 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 <laughs> Flamethrower is a 
A little less able and remote than words on stream would have you understand. <laughs> no words for you. No social. Alright, we're going. We're shipping it. Perhaps it means they can't hold a proper meaningful conversation. I don't know. The ancient monolith unleashed an energy pulse that tore your research, research vessel apart and muta mutated your crew. Only a few of you made it to the escape pods. Despite the setback, your mission is far from over. If you can learn more about the monolith, perhaps you can find a way to shut it down or to harness its inhuman power. Yeah, they can't do work as a recruiter or a trader because they are incapable of social. Is this the monolith? Fallen monolith. Twisting lines carved into the surface form a disturbing pattern. We can investigate it. Investigate it to learn more. There's a... There's... There's... Investigate. We can just investigate. I don't know that I want to do this right away. I watched the trailer. I, I saw the trailer. Now, when I zoom out, all the animals turn blue. <laughs> and red. That's cool. That's the shadow. Let's see. Added silhouette highlighting when the camera zoomed out to make pawns more visible. This can be customized in the game settings. Nice looking map. Yeah, actually, as far as caves go, this is not that bad. Maybe it's the monolith making the animals change color. Let's see. Hide hats on UI. No. Disable tiny font. Yes. I do like tiny font because I can read more of it. But for, for chat, it might help to, you know, make it a little bit bigger. Disable game specific cursor. Highlight hostiles, highlight all. That's the character highlighting options. Weapon shows below portrait. Okay. And the model is right here. Wait, we used to just start with mecha noise on the map? Oh, no, 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 okay. They're not awake. They're not alive. They're very asleep. The long sleep. The sleep that doesn't end. Here's our mountain. Here's where we're gonna live. Over here, we've got mega spiders. I gotta sneeze. It's 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 coming. It just turned into a yawn instead. <laughs> Hi, Abraxas. Anomaly in chess. Yeah, we're anomalizing. Ooh, even the predators are blue on the map. I don't know. I feel like those should maybe be hostile. <laughs> How's it going, Abraxas? Three ads, 30 seconds long. We do have ads every 30 minutes for a minute and a half. Should we disable pre rolls? Welcome back. I didn't do anything while, while the ads were playing. I just, besides, you know, look at the map. We were just looking at settings. Admiring how our predators even show up blue. They have blue highlights now. I do like that. At first I thought this was a glitch. A graphical glitch. Look, this is interesting. As you zoom out... There's a step here where they only start to be highlighted. And they go full highlight. 
I feel like I would like this to be the maximum highlight. Oh, actually, there's three steps of it. There's one, two, three. Interestingly, though, when I zoom in, there's one, two, off. But one, two, three. I guess if you counted this as one, two, off. Yeah, wait, no, there's only two steps when you're zooming in, but there's three when zooming out. Ten seconds after landing, you realize you missed a mod from your list. Camera plus. Yeah, I... I purposefully... Uh, chose not to use camera plus. Because I, I wanted to... Just see how this camera worked with the changes. Also, I do think I'm, I'm going to want to use color-coded mood bar. Add an option to make the colonist moods much more visible. They change color and glow when below the mental break threshold. Okay, where was that? It doesn't zoom on mouse location. You can't brain it. Yeah, isn't supposed to do that now. Yeah, I am paused by looking around. I'm also just... That's visible mood? It's less visible. It's getting more opaque when I uncheck it. So there's visible mood on. Displays a visual indicator on a character's portrait when they're at risk of a mental break. When you turn this on, it becomes harder to see. Flamethrower doesn't have a mood. Yeah, it only shows stuff when they're at danger of a break, but it still is harder to see the difference. Like, there's less contrast here between the background of the portrait and the mood. But you see how this is a lot lighter of a, a box outline and also the mood bar itself has more contrast between the background. Like, this is all getting darker. Zoom to mouse. Hi, Kevtabulous! How is the DLC so far? Well, all we've done is... Pick a map tile, pick an ideology, and pick colonists. That's all we've done. I've just been tweaking settings. Uh, Namili? Hi, hello, Tangent! Hello, Tangent! I'm so tired today. Ugh. And hi, Nick. You're just gonna buy the new DLC. Do it. Do it. Added a 12 hour, 24 hour clock option. Added the silhouette highlighting when the camera zoomed out. Added an option to make their moods more visible. Okay. So these are the only new changes I think we've already gone through. We got this highlighting now of the animals and enemies. So the mega spiders that are on the map are in red because they are from a faction that we consider hostile. Which doesn't say anywhere, but they're part of the insect... The insect faction, I... It's, it's like... A background faction. When you're spawning your planet. And the game asks you which factions you want to use. It's like insect... Germline, or... Something like this. But so they, they're hostile by default. 
because negative spiders. We haven't unpaused yet, so they haven't had any opportunities for social interaction. Our ideology is called the pain chamber. Flamethrower does not follow the pain chamber ideology. The pain chamber. I could have I could have changed this. Speaking of hostile. Ah I still haven't done the thing. Gene line. That's it. Yeah, 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 yeah. Faction is technical, not faction like the others. It's it's a it's a background faction. Is it possible to have insects appear that aren't part of the hive? I don't think so. I think if they're insects, you can have them as part of your faction if you tame them successfully. But otherwise, I think they will only spawn as insects. Thank you for the hydration, Hammer's food. So this is... This is the new ideology. That was introduced alongside... Anomaly. Pain Chamber is just the name that it came with. <laughs> Pain Chamber. Hi, Ezra Dai! Woohoo. I caught a stream. You caught a stream! Welcome in, Ezra Dai! Hello! Thank you for the 39 months and the 38 month streak. That's incredible, Asuka. Uh, sorry, Ezra Dai, why did I say Asuka? It's because I was looking at my colonist named Asuka. <laughs> <laughs> Ezra Dai. Ugh. That's embarrassing. Streamer so sleepy. Ezra Dai, thank you for the 39 months. Ezra Dai is not a colonist. All the things are blurring together into one blob. Speaking of blob, we have twisted meat. Pieces of twisted muscle and gristle bloated with tumorous growths. These bizarre shreds of flesh must have come from a horrific creature. Does anyone want to party? You have enough. Party? This is this is good good musics. New OST. Oh no, so this is actually P music. Let me let me grab the mod. Oh my gosh. For the first time in who knows how long, I unmuted Steam and it got me. I don't think there's a new OST, but yeah, P music is what we were just listening to, I think, I assume. I honestly can't tell you which music is vanilla and which is music anymore I think this is actually from the original soundtrack there you go there's the mod yeah I'm so tired I need to add some more mods to the game uh nom 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 Ali. Look, I know we just got started. <laughs> no, Music Manager hasn't been updated. Music Manager is so good. Fluffy, why? Fahrenheit and Celsius, I would like to add. Camera Plus, I would like to add. P music is technically not updated, but it's it's just a selection of 50 tunes. Like it, it shouldn't really matter the game version. What else? Map preview has been updated. Oh no, that's not. 
It's the other map. I don't remember what it's called. Map? Dub's Vint Minimap. Hi there, Jen! Hello, hello! Nice to see you. Okay, so we really didn't get very far on going modless. <laughs> we, we didn't get very far on that. Alright, here is your Tavern Party Redemption. Ezra, I hope that you are doing super well today. It's really nice to see you. Luffy's been going through stuff, but said he'd be updating his mods over the next several weeks. However, am I gonna play without the mod that I looked at and I already forgot what it was? Obviously, it, it didn't matter that much. Let me grab you a shout out, Jen. I saw you last night playing some Skyrim. How are you liking it? How far along are you? Okay. Well, music manager. The reason why I was looking for music manager is because it allows you to just turn off the music, you can just pause, you can skip songs, but it's not updated. And that one probably does need to be version specific. Sending secret messages over here. Don't mind me. I'm so tired today. I don't want to be tired on Anomaly Day. I don't want to be tired on Anomaly Day. Play the new Adventure Mode song. You gotta save the new Adventure Mode song for Adventure Mode. Can we just play Tavern Party on repeat? And yes, you choose violence today. <laughs> Audio is dropping rapid fire. Is it your connection? Um, no, I dropped a bunch of frames. It, it might have been me. Hi, Hippo! Good to see you! Secret tunnel! Secret, secret, secret tunnel! It's Hippo and it's Jen. Wow! Hello, friends! <gasps> JSOG! Hi! Hi, JSOG. I was just about to send you a message. <laughs> I got distracted by other Discord messages that were waiting for me, but I was just about to send you a message. <laughs> to be like, JSOG, are you alive? Because I hadn't heard from you today, and that's very unusual. Very, very unusual for, for JSOG to be MIA. Oh my gosh! Holy moly, Penny Meowie, hello! Hello, Raiders, welcome in! Hello, hello! Blocka Bucka! Hi! Zero Stick! Elisa Dell, hello? Man, we already said hello today, didn't we? I'm, I'm so sleepy today! <laughs> Blue Pastry Mystery 1! Black Wolf MJ! Totally a username. Hello. They wrapped. Yaksha. 
Gadzooks! Hello! Mauricio, hello, hello! Welcome in, everybody. Hi! You were playing some Fallout 4 today? Fallout 4? How was that treating you? We had Jen in here playing, uh, Skyrim. We got Bethesda games. Bethesda games today. You're willing to be greeted extra times. I'm having a day, alright? I'm like, I'm very, very, very tired today. <laughs> Welcome on in. Hi, everybody. I'm Jess. It's lovely to meet you all and see you all. Thank you very much for the raid, Penny. I hope you're doing well today. Thank you so much for bringing your community over. We are playing... Rimworld Anomaly. Let me move my, my little menu here. We're playing Rimworld Anomaly. Rimworld. Ooh, there's a brand new DLC that dropped today. Along with a big update to the base game. Which is very, very exciting. We were in the game, but I had to back out to add more mods. My, my journey with Rimworld. <laughs> I can't ever play this game unmodded. I tried, and I, I lasted all of like 30 seconds. Yes, Anomaly! Hi, Gas Station Boxers! If you're unfamiliar with Rimworld, it's a great game. Uh, it's a, it's a sci-fi colony simulator. It's a story generator. It's a really, really interesting game, and the updates today. 1.5 and also Anomaly? This is a horror-themed expansion. So we're, we're getting some horror games in here today. You spent the first hour of stream just adding mods. Sometimes it's what you have to do. It's one of your favorites you were playing since the TV series came out. Have you seen the series yet? Have you seen Fallout? The Fallout series? I, I'm i gonna add that to my list of things to watch right now while I'm thinking about it. I really do appreciate you all coming over. I hope that you are having a fantastic day. Hi there, Isha. Hello! The anomaly lady has tentacles growing out of her back. Those weren't there before. Yeah, they were. They were there before. Weren't they there before? They came out at 3 a.m. in your time zone. You're going to watch it after dinner. That sounds like a good idea. I'm going to add it to my list of things to watch, too. Done. It's on my list. It was great. I heard that, Hebo. I heard that from somebody else that it was really, really good. Look at all these friends in chat. I really appreciate all of your follows. Welcome, welcome. Follows are anonymous, so don't don't worry. We won't call you out. If you would like to say hello, though, feel free. Also, Moose, hello. Hoping well, and I have a great stream. May my anomalies be friendly and not terror-inducing. <laughs> I'm doing fine today, Moose. I'm just really tired. I'm... I'm just... I'm... I'm out of it. I don't know. And Dusty, good to see you as well. Thank you for the hydration. There was one redemption, and it got lost. You want Tavern Party Remix. All right. Last night you were totally amazed by X-Men 97? Is that a movie? It's a lot better than you feared? Alright. Chat just wants to party today. <laughs> Here you go. Tavern Party Remix time. Penny, thank you again so much for the raid. I really, really, really appreciate that. It's, it's lovely. To have you all here to hang out. If you are, if anybody here is unfamiliar with Rimworld and haven't seen the game before, I definitely recommend checking it out. It's a fantastic game. It's a very hard game to learn. It has a steep learning curve, for sure. A very steep learning curve. I'm super excited for this new DLC. We, we did make a colony. We made a colony, but then I had to add more mods, of course. We, I added a mod that converts temperature from Fahrenheit to Celsius. Otherwise, chat riots. 
<laughs> Chat riots because only, I don't know, 40% of us use Fahrenheit. 60% of chat uses Celsius. Not me. <laughs> and camera plus. So we're gonna load anyways. So we're playing with the base game. Three. Hmm. Wait. Is this the fourth DLC? It's the fourth DLC. It's important. The important 40% uses freedom units. Streamer's important. <laughs> freedom height. Yeah, so I use Fahrenheit. I'm from the US, so I don't I don't I don't know Celsius. But now here we go. You can see it, the temperatures in Fahrenheit and Celsius. Best song. Yeah, this is the the Tavern Party remix from the Dwarf Fortress Hot Potato last year. Which is happening again. The first visitor to your colony is called Butts. Yes! That's an epic name. <laughs> that's an epic name. You don't use Celsius either? 97 is a new animation series. You haven't managed to see any of it yet, but it's supposed to be very good, especially if you're a fan of the original animated series of X-Men. I didn't even know that there was an animated series of X-Men. New soundtrack too. Not in RimWorld, right? Use Fahrenheit from the US, but you know Celsius too. I theoretically know Celsius. Theoretically, I just I don't know how to I don't I don't have context for Celsius. If you know what I mean. Okay, I have to scroll all the way back up, Jen, to finish reading your message. You're loving Skyrim. Funnily enough, you haven't done very much of the main story, but you've done a ton of side stuff. That does sound about right for Skyrim. <laughs> I think the last time we talked about it, I, I said how I put like 250 hours into a Skyrim playthrough. And it was all side quests. And then when I finally got to the main quest, it bugged out. So I still don't know how Skyrim ends. I did all the side quests. I don't know about the story. Is there a story? You're at your desk. I'm sorry that you're not feeling well, JSOG. I was just about to send you a message because I hadn't heard from you today. So that's very unusual. Very, very unusual for just some old guy. To be MIA, like I was saying earlier. I'm so sad we don't have music manager. I would skip this song. Oh, yeah, I know it's water based. So, like, when I when I used to work in, an, in a real job, <laughs> not, not content creator, not streamer, when I did science and worked in the lab, like, we used Celsius exclusively. So I know that it's water based. I, I know lab temperatures. Yeah, but those were temperatures that human beings don't really operate under so uh, yeah i don't know <laughs> i just have i have like my mental uh, my, my metrics for fahrenheit you know like these temperatures feel like this and i don't know what those are in celsius i don't have feels like temperatures a lot of books you read the authors are not american so you they use metric you've been getting it converting it to imperial on the fly at least close enough that it makes sense yeah maybe that's what i should learn how to do you were surprised when you woke up and checked the time i literally opened discord to send you a message and was distracted by other discord messages and then by the time i remembered to message you you were already here A hundred Fahrenheit is the maximum temperature to survive without issues. I don't, I don't know. A hundred Fahrenheit is still pretty hot. Fahrenheit is based off body temperature, which is why it makes sense for feels like temperatures. I think Fahrenheit makes a lot of sense for discussing 
uh, temperatures in existence, you know? Like, in my existence, in my little realm of universe. I, th I think they make sense. Celsius for science, Fahrenheit for people. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Uh-huh. That's what I think, too. All right, RimWorld. Boop, RimWorld, everybody. I had I had to install some more mods. So the mods that we added are Camera Plus. Oh, it overrides RimWorld's new camera settings. I saw them arguing there for a second. Yeah, you see how the, the rhinos are flashing blue? Occasionally? Right here? They're not doing it now. Oh, they're the, yeah, yeah, yeah. That, this is the new setting in RimWorld. So you can now highlight creatures on the map and their silhouettes. There's character highlighting and then highlight mode. So they can be dots. Well, this actually might be from the mod. The reason why I installed Camera Plus is because it zooms out further and it zooms in closer. So maybe we can disable some settings real fast for that. Where would it be? Hi, Dovahkiin. Nice to see you. Celsius is water temperature. Fahrenheit is for people. Kelvin is for science. <laughs> I think Kelvin and Celsius can both be for science. Yeah, where are the camera plus settings? Thanks for the posh check, Jen. We've been posh checked, everybody. They now have flashbright colors to warn you that they're tasty. No, my, they... Oh, yeah. I was looking right at it. Okay. Let me preface all of this again with I'm really tired. <laughs> Which means I might look directly at the thing and say, where's the options for it? <laughs> oh, man. Sits like a shrimp. No shrimp sitting. Look, mouse to zoom was a camera a camera plus feature. Disable camera shake. Yes. Scroll speed, edge scroll, hide name labels when zoomed out. Okay, well, I sort of wanted to use RimWorld's highlighting, but I don't know that I can. So Camera Plus, since instead of having those blue and red outlines, we're just going to have these dots on the map. Mod options. Camera Plus. Hide name labels when zoomed out. Animals have the same marker, different markers, animals have no markers. Yeah, I don't think I can turn off the dots. Ads again, four of them. It's been 30 minutes already. You have unmedicated ADHD, you do that all the time. And that's, this is the sad news, is that I actually have even taken my ADHD medication today and I'm still just not very with it. It's honestly because I think my my meds the the strength is too low now. That they they don't they aren't working as well as they used to. Templar of Syrix, hello. I'm just sleepy. Sometimes it happens. Yeah, sleepy. Okay, are we ready to do this? The only thing that we've seen that's different is this right here. The Fallen Monolith. Twisting lives carved into the... Lives. Lines! Uh, carved into the surface form a disturbing pattern. Investigate to learn more. A monolith of unknown age, purpose, and construction. Its smooth surface is etched with lines that twist and writhe in unsettling patterns. Another 100 have updated in the last hour. Honestly, it's probably just the the mod writers updating the version 
Everything is perfect in this exact moment. Uh oh, chat, how do I allow all? Never mind, I got it. Now I have to relearn Rimworld. Welcome back, Ham. Hmm, so where do we want to live? We have three colonists. We have Ghoul's Night Out. We have Asuka. Asuka is actually the dad of the group. Ghoul's Night Out and Flamethrower are the children. Actually, though, Asuka's the dad. Ghoul's Night Out and... Oh, I'm looking at Flamethrower. Ghoul's Night Out and Flamethrower are the kiddos. So Ghoul's Night Out and Flamethrower are related. Flamethrower has turned into a ghoul. So ghouls are a, a new... Something. I don't even know how to describe what that might be. Because they're still considered a baseliner. Their xenotype is baseliner. A naturally evolved human with no major significant genetic modifications. But they are a ghoul. They've been turned into a ghoul. They're engineered murder machines, twisted by dark psychic influences. They're very dangerous in melee combat. However, the process of their creation leaves them incapable of higher levels of thought, preventing them from holding weapons or tools. Oh, this is more detail than was in the character creator. They cannot work, and outside of combat, they wander in a half-conscious stupor. Many people find the constant twitching of ghouls to be disturbing. <laughs> More disturbing is their dependence on raw meat. If they go hungry, they'll turn hostile. Even attacking their creatures, their creators, to sate their hunger. You <laughs> love her boop. <laughs> you love her hair? Ghouls? Ghouls night out? Boop. Oh, we don't have RPG inventory. <sighs> and so it begins. <laughs> so it begins. Like, chat, I've identified another mod that we're missing. <laughs> RPG style inventory. What is this? Okay, a turret pack. Source anomaly. A wearable pack that allows the user to deploy battery-powered turret. The pack contains a propulsion device, letting the user launch the turret at a short distance. These turrets are effective for flanking and distracting enemies. However, the limited AI can't be directly controlled, so it can cause friendly fire incidents. Battery lasts for several hours. We can deploy turrets on the go. That's interesting. Tune in next stream when I will unpause the game for the first time. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah. Equip a, equip a shotgun. Equip a knife. I assume since we can't hold things, we have no manipulation ability. Where did I... How did I pull up the ghoul thing? First time. <laughs> how did I do this? They cannot hold weapons or tools, so they're just like fists, fisticuffs. Should probably start building a spaceship. Yeah, I'll get right on that. This person has been implanted with an architect shard, twisting them into a jittering murder machine. So they're still a human, but they're a ghoul. They're non-theral zombies. That's what it seems like. So I guess this twisted meat is for the ghoul. The question is, how much do they eat? Their nutrition bar is two. And the nutrition value is 0.05, so they eat a lot. 
If they go too long without eating raw meat, they go feral. They become feral. So the nutrition bar... You need... it's 40? Am I mathing this correctly? 40 raw meat? 40 units of raw meat to... fill up their tummy? Oh my gosh, rim hood. I need rim hood. <laughs> Is rim hood updated? I don't know how to find anything. It's a, it's a problem. I don't know how to play without mods. Rim HUD updated. Rim HUD's on 1.5. Woohoo! What about RPG style inventory? That's also updated. How's Anomaly going? Hi, Voodoo Lilium. You know, we're just adding more mods one by one. One by one, adding new mods. You weren't even going to play if you didn't have it. Playing Vanilla Rimworld is very different. Hi, Lanix! No, you! You're amazing and lovely. How are we all? Did you miss the stream? No. I'm here. Am I missing my own stream? Maybe. I'm, I'm half awake. I'm, I'm like really trying. <laughs> I'm really, really trying. I'm just so tired. Can't wake up. All right. Now let's look again. Ooh, isn't that better? Much better. Okay. Rim HUD. So Rim HUD basically makes all these little menus way more better. This is RPG style inventory. So now we can open up the menu and see how pretty they look. Like look how pretty their hair is. Or how pretty Flamethrower's ghoulish hair looks. Food bar. Yeah, so we're at we're at 40% out of two. So if each unit of meat is five percent. Then yeah, we would need 40, 40 units of meat per meal. So we have two and a half meals. We have way more food for Asuka and Ghoul's Night Out, but only two and a half meals for flamethrowers. So the question is, how quickly do they... Like, how quickly does their... Their, their health. Their... Uh, uh. Chat, send help. I'm so not with it. I can't... Words. <laughs> Delicious twisted meat. How... Often do they need to eat? Hi there, Jimbo. You haven't played in a while, but you still have installed, so you get new mod new mod updates downloading every day. You're gonna have a bunch that just came through. Everyone's pushing their mods to 1.5. It's gonna be a fun day. It disconnected 25 people from calls at once? It's gonna be a fun day, oh no. There's a mod that uses AI to generate profile pictures for colonists, and it's cool. Completely unnecessary, but it brings you joy in your gaming. <laughs> yeah, why do, why do we even bother, you know, with subtitles? They don't know what I'm saying, ever. I think I just need to get a different subtitle plugin. Okay, well, we need to do a few things. As a new colony, figure out where we're gonna live. We are in a big mountainous map with a huge river. And guess what? Rivers are not safe anymore. Did you think the water was safe? It's not safe anymore. Hello, 
Lady Orca. Good to see you. There is a little structure down here. It's too small though for three colonists, but there's a table that we could claim. We could claim it and repair it and turn it into our table. So we already have a table. Wow. We're already on a roll. We got a table already. The kids can share a room. Yeah, you know, flamethrower and ghouls night out and share a room together. I don't think anybody's good at cooking. No. But we are good at mining and we're good at plants. We have year round growing too, so. Fertility overlay. Wow, there is no rich soil anywhere. I mean, there is. It's down here. And there's a teeny bit over here. I guess it's where we're gonna go live. I'm gonna I'm gonna live here. We live here now. Having to share a room with a ghoul would equal fights every night. Do the ghouls even need to sleep? So, a couple things to consider. One, we're in the jungle. So we have year-round growing. Gotta plant corn. Because we can we can plant rice in basic soil. Just the way that the math works on rice. Growing time. Nutrition. No. Uh fertility sensitivity. Requirement. Fertility requirement 70%. Fertility sensitivity 100%. High sensitivity means the plant grows slow in poor soil, but faster in rich soil. Low sensitivity means the plant will grow about the same speed in rich or poor soil. Am I thinking potatoes? Yeah, I'm thinking potatoes. Okay, I am still going to plant corn. No, let's plant rice. Rice grows faster in rich soil. Potatoes don't. They have a 40% fertility sensitivity. So you can grow them in normal soil just fine. So the orangey color is low fertility soil. The light green is average fertility. And then the dark green is really fertile soil. Like we want to put a farm here type thing. Another streamer you're watching is on a map with marshes all over. That'll be interesting. Can the mechanoids spawn in marshes? There's a Google plugin for closed captioning that's supposed to be really good. Maybe you'll have to look into it. Okay, so I'm going to make a new zone over here. This one's going to be for heal root. And backing up to the thing that I was saying about... These are adjacent, yeah. About this being a jungle. If we pop over to the world map real fast. Hi, Alistair. Hello, dad. You're pooped. Are you talking to Asuka? Asuka's the dad. It's good to see you. Hello. Uh, we have average disease frequency of 1.7 per year. So we get a lot of diseases here. Whereas in the desert, we get 0.9. In the temperate forest, 1.2. So all that to say, we are a little bit more prone to diseases than we would be in other areas. So I want to grow heal root, which is basically like natural remedy, natural herbs, that sort of thing. It's the good stuff. Is there no heal root in the jungle? War elephants! Yeah, there's no heal root in the jungle. There's berry bushes. Deserts are so sterile, we can eat all the salmon we want. What's the DLC about? It's a big one. But it is a it's a horror themed expansion. It's like Cthulhu Rimworld. 
Yeah, higher disease, no heal root. So we did start with 45 medication as part of the scenario, so that's nice. There's also a proximity detector. This is also from Anomaly. A scanner capable of detecting invisible creatures. It raises an alarm when it detects the presence of psychically invisible biosignatures within its radius. Oh, that's why in the patch notes... Where, what did it say in the patch notes? Invisible pawns no longer brought block hostiles from pathing through them. In invisible pawns no longer block hostiles from pathing through them. That, that's the change log for 1.5. Yeah, invisible enemies. Yeah, that's why we start with a proximity activator. <laughs> so we know that there is somebody invisible around. There's also a shard. A scavenged fragment of dark Arco technology, originally created by a hyper intelligent Arcotech mind. This shard is packed with technology beyond human comprehension. It is capable of manipulating psychic flows, inducing Arcotech influences and more esoteric outcomes. While it is useless by itself, it can be built into devices that harness its power to produce exotic effects. Is this the same shard that infected Flamethrower? This person has been implanted with an Architect shard. Twisting them into a jittering murder machine. So maybe don't stab that? Don't stab anybody with that? <laughs> not scary at all. It's not scary at all. So when we plant these things, they're going to cut down some trees, but I'm going to cut down a few more. I'm just going to cut down all these. And I'm going to, I think, make our first place to live right here. This little, little spot right there. So let's make a stockpile for all the things. I'm just going to put everything in there for now, except corpses. Oh, there's no hall urgently. <laughs> All things. No, don't haul those. Oh my gosh. They should just start moving things. Medical treatment needed. Asuka needs medical treatment because Asuka has asthma, just like me. It needs tending. Heart sufficiency minus 10%. Repairing steel table. Yes, this is important. <laughs> this is very important. We also have forgotten to set some priorities. Nobody here knows how to cook, so that's going to be a problem. Oscar's going to do the hunting, the building. Study. There's a new category here called Dark Study. Interacting with anomalous entities. Turns out no one here is smart either. They don't they don't have the smarts chat. No smarts. We also can't really handle animals. Food poisoning from no cooks is so frustrating. We're just gonna have to eat berries. You have no idea what I'm doing, you're just vibing. <laughs> That's fine. Vibe, vibe away. I, my chair got stuck on this carpet under my chair. I put a rug under my, under my desk chair to try and stop, to try and stop it from falling into the cracks in my floor. And I think it's just making things worse. <sighs> if 
I'm being honest. Alright, flamethrower. You do what you do. Oh yeah, biopharite. An exotic metal-like fibrous sh 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 substance with both organic and metallic properties. Biopharite is produced by microscopic mechanites as they produce organic material. In cases of disordered mechanite behavior, this happens in a chaotic, cancer-like way. The material is known to interact with some types of psychic flows. If pressurized under specific conditions, biopharite becomes extremely flammable, making it a useful fuel. Biopharite. Like bio-iron? Bio-iron, basically? Organic metal. All right. There's an ancient generator, but its, uh, its parts have been smashed and looted long ago. It's useless. But we have a table. Never fear. We have a, a steel table. <laughs> Which I will put right here. That's a great spot for a table. Is my mic cover new? No, it's it's purple. Green. This one got smushed too. And it has a red spot on it. Looks very pink for a purple mic cover. You look pink. Uh, yeah, so if you want to change the name of the pawn that you have in the queue, you have to leave the queue, but I don't think exclamation leave is working. Sadly. <sighs> okay, chat, I'm so sorry. I can't do it. I need more mods. <laughs> Forever stuck in the queue. Yeah, I don't know why exclamation leave doesn't work. I don't I don't know, it just it... Enter butts leave. Okay. Well, it works now. <laughs> I actually, uh, hello. Use rim pie for mod management. I don't. This is this is this is fine. See, I thought you were saying my sweet summer child because of what I typed in chat. Because uh, apparently, chat does not have their minds in the gutter. You don't have your minds in the gutter today. All I want from the allow tool is haul urgently. Okay, I'm just gonna add both of these. Save and apply changes. So, yeah, apparently it's working now. The last time we played RimWorld, exclamation leave would not work. Chat couldn't leave the queue for some reason. Only peeking out of the gutter slightly. <laughs> oh, yeah, I should probably leave the queue. So I don't accidentally draw my own name. I have a sleepy kitty on my desk. He's he is so cute. He's so cute and sleepy. I just want to smush him. I just want to smush your toe beans. He's like, don't don't touch me. Well, this mod list is growing. We started with like three mods, and now we're up to I don't know eleven. Three hour break reminder. 
It's been three hours? We can't take a break right now. We literally just started. We can't take a break. Okay, the only reason why I went and added those mods is so I can do this. Boom. Haul urgently. Oh, the holding platform. Smokey's investigation into crafting a book chat. It's a book. Those seeking erudition and crafting head to this iconic primer. Though perhaps the attempt to communicate its ideas through an imagined dialogue was a mistake. <laughs> According to the title page, Scald Smokey's reputation was so terrible that she published this book under a pseudonym. The abstract makes clear that readers with knowledge of architect information dissemination techniques tend to avoid this book series, but not why. The book has had many owners, but the pages are in decent condition. <laughs> it's, a, it's a book to improve crafting. And there's also this one. Basque's approach to farming. The book establishes the author's authority on the subject of farming. The digest says that when Basque wrote this, it was in the cutting edge of the field. On the first page, someone has pasted an ex excoriating review of the book. The outline says that the University of Colthus 4 made this set a text. A set text. This book has had many owners, but the patients, pages are decent, if slightly scored. What does excoriating mean? It doesn't sound good. Excore E8. To censure or criticize severely. Or damage or remove part of the surface, usually the skin. So wait, it was... It was a bad review. Somebody has posted a bad review. <laughs> then we have a, a tome. This is the tome, Chrono Horror. In this well-organized analysis, a young investigator attempts to describe a tribe with a tradition of mutilation rituals performed in firelight using rusty blades. At one point, the protagonist stumbles upon a ritual where he witnesses bloody figures enchanting eerie, or sorry, ew, enchanting eerie incantations while self-mutilating with shards of obsidian. The book is terrifying in content, tedious in execution. There is a chance for mental break while reading this. Void provocation? When discovered. You can provoke the void by reading this book. It sounds like a dangerous book. Okay, we'll get the twisted meat, the shard, the proximity detector we should probably set up. And then there's a holding platform. A platform for holding dangerous entities. The corners have eyelets where strong chains can be attached. Downed entities can be captured and secured on a holding platform where they can be studied for anomaly knowledge. Increase containment strength by building strong walls and doors and other special containment devices. View, electro harvester, electric inhibitor, shard inhibitor, bioferrite harvester. Bioferrite harvester. When placed near to a holding platform, this device draws biomass from the held entity and converts it into bioferrite. Large entities generally produce more bioferrite. However, for most creatures, the process causes extreme discomfort, making the entity harder to contain. Each holding platform can only support one harvester. However, each harvester can link up to four platforms. Okay. So we can have four platforms, one harvester. It's very cheap to build. Feels bad. The process causes extreme discomfort. <laughs> I don't want to... Even though they're going to be monsters and evil, I still don't want to torture them. Electro Harvester. An electric generator that can be placed near a holding platform, where it will draw power from a contained entity. The generator hooks into the entity's body and harnesses energy generated by unnatural spatial distortions or psychic flows inside of it. Larger entities produce more power. However, 
Electro harvesting agitates entities, making them more likely to escape. It can be linked up to four platforms, although each platform only supports one. Isn't that the plot of Dead Space? I don't know. I haven't played Dead Space. Ages are slightly sticky. Yuck. Probably because they're in the water. Electric inhibitor. A device that emits a specially tuned electromagnetic field, which numbs the neural activity of captured entities. As long as it's powered, it improves the containment strength of any holding platform that it's pointed at. The electric field does not affect humans or normal animals. That seems good. Oops. Shard inhibitor. The shard of dark arcno technology that resonates with psychic energy, increasing the containment strength of any holding platform or spot within its radius. The effect does not stack. Notice it didn't say that for electric inhibitor, which gives me the, the impression it does stack. Also, they can all be built with very, very basic materials, meaning that we're supposed to be able to do this early game. This only requires bioferrite, which we start with. One component, 50 steel. 15 steel, one shard. We have one of those. Electric inhibitor, two components, 25 steel. Electro harvester, one component, 50 steel, 25 bioferrite. Yeah, this is all easy peasy. Especially since we start with those things. Um, don't deconstruct that. Haul it. And we start with 45 components, too. Wowie. Okay, we're just gonna haul these things as urgently as possible, because as of right now, they are just sitting in the river deteriorating. The steel is fine to sit in the river. It, it doesn't deteriorate. You can see it over here. Like, wood. Deteriorating because unroofed outdoors and in chest-deep moving water. Two durability per day. Whereas the wood over here is deteriorating at 0.5 per day. And that movie with the ship... Spaceship and the guy from the dinosaur movie. Vent Horizon. I think we have... Good construction skills with this group, right? Yeah, we have a seven in construction. All right, hold on. I've changed my mind. I want to dig this out. Invisimic strikes once more. Invisimic. What are we gonna do with flamethrower? I can I can restrict flamethrower to an area. Bella work. Hi, blind. Thank you so much for the thirty-seven months. Blind is doing a Bella lurk. Thank you for the thirty-seven months. Welcome back. I thought you'd be streaming today. Well, I I see that you're not streaming. Any floofs? I have a kitty cat on my desk. He's sleepy. Do I have a rainbow mic? No, sadly. Sadly, no rainbow mic. Here's what we're gonna do. <gasps> I just remembered about the two wide doors. We can make two wide doors now. Ooh. That's exciting. And an ornate door requires... Hold. What about just a two wide door? Regular door. Security door requires plasteel. Where am I gonna get plasteel from? Alright, that's gonna be the start of our little wall. Although I did mark these for mining. We don't want to do that. Not raiders. Nope. Just a resub of 37 months, which is incredible. We had so many, so many resubs today of impressive tenures. Sleepy cat is a cutie cat. He is a cutie. 
Okay, how do we make a new zone? Expand allowed area. Manage area. Whoa, this is new. Expand, shrink, invert. Ghouls. Expand. All right. Uh, assign. This is this is different too. Food policy. Uh, this is different. Everything's different. Don't eat raw food. <laughs> just don't eat raw food. Let's just nip that in the bud. And then go to you and assign you to the ghoul zone. Otherwise, flamethrower is just gonna linger in, in in the river until until flamethrower is swept away. Move speed of 0.46 cells per second. 4.6 cells per second. <sighs> Please send help. I'm. 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 My brain is just squishy. It's it's really problematic. <laughs> Unless Oma reads a raider, we can prove nothing. You're a prisoner being held against your will. Save me, Dark Horse. If you don't get your ghoul meats, I think you'll probably save yourself. A second, wasn't melee enabled when we started the game for the flamethrower? In fact, I can see down here that the burning passion. Yeah, why is it this, this disabled now? You lost it for years too. Yeah, it said melee was eight. <laughs> Hi, Imes. Three hours in and we haven't paused. I mean, we just kind of unpaused. We, we, we just, we just sort of kind of unpaused. Yeah, so the, the ghouls do get raw food. But I can't set an, uh, an assignment, a food policy assignment. Because they only eat one thing, and that is raw meat. Yeah, they can only do melee, that's why I'm confused. You lost it for years too. Please, Coda. I wonder if it's a mod interaction. Was it disabled the whole time? Like when we first looked? Let me check the VOD. Pretty cool. A beautiful ghoul. Very beautiful. Okay, I'm checking an hour in. We didn't load into the game until... Nearly two hours in. Two hours in. We messed with settings. Okay, now I'm clicking on 
colonists. But I can't see your skills. I didn't click on the skills tab. Click on skills. Do it. Do it, streamer. Click on click on the bio. I didn't check. I don't think I checked chat. Come on, Patch Jess! Click on the skills! I didn't do it. I was busy looking at ideologies instead. And then I backed out to add more mods. I don't know. I don't know if it's a mod thing or what. Yeah, the... The trait is pretty because that is the trait they had before they turned into a ghoul. Okay, no, we're definitely able to melee attack. I was able to target the cassowary and the cobra. Co cobra, oh my gosh, today is hard. My brain is not working well. <laughs> the cobra. So, flamethrower doesn't need to sleep. Could be a, a rim hug conflict. But then I would expect it to still show up here. Okay, so, since Flamethrower does nothing but attack things and has Ghoul Regeneration, healing of 100 health points per day, I feel like I'm gonna draft them and to have them kill the things outside the colony. Like, get, get into an attack with Cobras. Yeah. Ghoul Claws. Ghoul teeth. A bite wound and a scratch wound from ghoul claws and ghoul teeth. You have toxic buildup initial. From Cobra Venom. But look how quickly Flamethrower is healing. Ribba world. <laughs> Rib Ribba world. Toxic buildup is not really going away though. But the bite, the bite wound is. I wonder if there's also increased coagulation. Baseliners don't have that as a as a gene, but as a ghoul, maybe they do. Oh, he's so sleepy. Oh my. We're already back to 90, 96% health. Also, can the ghouls eat raw corpses? They can only eat raw meat, but what if. Oh, yeah, they do eat corpses. Raw meat, comma, corpses. So. They can just go outside and mangle their food with their hands and then eat it. At, at least that they're pretty uh pretty easy to please. The coffee maker at the Airbnb you're at is so slow. He sounds so good.
They won't eat forbidden corpses? We need to draft them to ha I mean, if they- if it's something that they eat... ...then they should seek it out themselves. It probably just needs to be in a stockpile. Flamethrower is wandering, but is definitely standing at attention as if drafted. Yeah, exactly. They act like colonists, not animals. So they won't eat corpses on the ground. Boop. Well, colonists will eat meals that aren't in stockpiles, so they should eat corpses on the ground. Boop. Boop. Okay, so toxic buildup doesn't heal quickly. The the bite injury did. Not the toxic buildup. And hi Pale Rider, hi Dragon of Frost. Hello to you both. Boop. I hope you're doing well today. Oh, okay. Now we're moving. Consuming twisted meat. Hold up. 74. And your food bar is at 29%. 45. You ate 29? 70, no. What was it at before? 71? 26. And this was 29? It was 74. That was at 45, so yeah. 29 times 0. 0.05. It was 1.45 of the health of the food bar. Needs. And before Flamethrower 8, what was the food bar at? 21? <laughs> uh, 29%. Wait, wait, they ate 29 food and it was at 29%? And I'm, I'm too tired to do this math. This is scary RimWorld, isn't it? Yeah, it's scary RimWorld. It hasn't been that scary yet, don't worry. Basically, I was trying to calculate how much food they have to eat. So, the food bar was at 20-something. Which would have been... 0.4... ...ish. If we ate 29 pieces of meat, and they all are worth... 5% nutrition value, then Flamethrower just consumed 1.45 noms. And that brought Flamethrower to 100% on food. 1.45 in that sense over there. Food at 89% or 1.78 out of 2. Which means 2 minus 1.45. There was point. Five, five remaining. Which would have been like... Yeah, 28%. That sounds about right, okay. Yeah, so they do need to consume about 40 meat. In order to maintain... A full health bar. And then their hunger rate... That's what I was trying to look at earlier. Hunger rate. Hunger rate. Hunger rate. Food consumption. 1.6. Nutrition eaten per day. 1.6. 1. 1.6. 6. 1. 6. So that's normal. Eating speed. Body size. Isn't there something here about... 
I guess that must have been food consumption. Hello, Iron Man! The monolith is worth putting the camera on when it does stuff. I mean, I assume if it does something, it's gonna, like, pop up over here, right? Like, the monolith is doing something! Okay, they're, they're still just hauling things. I'm gonna go on 3x speed for a while. Because they are not getting started. On anything. Everything landed in the river. So I've told them to haul it urgently because it's deteriorating very quickly in the water. Look at our little mega spider friends. Ah, uh, here. With Rimhud, we can see their faction. Insect. Uh, enemy insect of the Sorn gene line. I. There. Uh, w O N Crawler? Is a childhood and adulthood story responsible for the no melee tag? Oh. That's a, that's a good point. Coma Child was just construction, mining, and social. No, Space Marine gave a, a boost to melee. I think this must just be a, a, a bug in the system. Because we were actually able to get Flamethrower to attack. Via the Tomb Raider 1 guide, you keep discovering that you're giving up on the platforming puzzles. When you're on the right track to getting it. Sometimes you just gotta be patient. We're gonna work on these beds. Nope, I need you to make one more. I'm sorry. There. Now they're sleeping in the beds. So if they're building stuff, that means they finished hauling. So all of this... I want them to haul it... Not urgently though. Just... At their own pace. The twisted meat is going to expire in five hours. You just ate. There's only 17 of it left. So the ghouls even operate at 100% consciousness. They just shamble around all night. They don't need to sleep. They're kind of like guards. I guess as long as we keep them fed, they can help protect us from the entities. I assume, yeah, the proximity detector needs power. So we need to get that set up as soon as we possibly can. I really have to sneeze and it's not coming out of my nose. There it goes. Twisted meat rotted away in storage. Asuka's still sleeping. Two conditions need to- oh, wait, self-tend. Our ghouls don't even have medicine requirements. Boop. Major asthma. Was this just minor? Did we start with major asthma? I thought it was minor asthma. How do you treat this? You just take your daily asthma medication? Maybe we just grew up. Well, Asuka was already grown up. Asuka's the dad. Like, actually, ghouls? and flamethrower are children to Asuka, their brother and sister. I 
said he had minor asthma. I will. I see what you're doing there, but I actually did think that he had minor asthma. Now it's major. I don't know. I could check the VOD. Because it turns out I'm so tired today that anything could be true. I just... <laughs> anything could be true at this point. Yeah, okay. We started with minor asthma. We did. Confirmed. I just checked. Did it become major asthma because we didn't tend to it fast enough? It requires regular tending to prevent symptoms. Oops. I guess we need to make some lights, too. Oh yeah, we can put them on the wall now! That's so cool. Wall torches! Probably are gonna want to consume this cobra. It spoils in 17 hours. Nice. Wow. Besides the fact that you have to feed the ghouls, they're super low maintenance. I I don't I don't hate them. I don't hate it. And here's why. First up, they have unnatural ghoul regeneration. So they heal really quickly. They also don't take any kind of tending. They don't show up on on the work list, as in they can't be patients. I don't know if we can rescue them if they are downed. I don't know what happens if they get downed, but we don't have to worry about treating them with medication. I don't know if they're prone to diseases. And where I would even check that. They do have a crawl speed. Uh, but... Oh, whoa, where was I going with that? They don't need beds. We don't have to have a bedroom for them or give them a place to sleep. They just stay awake all day, all night. And they can attack things with their bare hands, and if they get beat up, they heal really quickly, and then they can just eat the corpses raw. They don't have to worry about food poisoning, or prepared meals, or bedrooms, or cleanliness, or weapons, or having a social life. That's pretty sweet. How many tiles is this? This is 14 by 10. That should be just big enough or this won't collapse. But I'm, I'm going to build a pillar, maybe. Maybe not. More ads. Yeah, they happen every 30 minutes. I'm just more impressed that this game is absorbing so much of my attention that the ads are happening so quickly. Alright, the next thing we're gonna need is a stone cutter's table. The reason for the oops, the stone cutter's table is we can take stones and cut them into blocks. And then we can use those blocks to make better walls that are not wooden. All in monolith. A wave of dread passes over your colonists. The fallen monolith has begun to stir. Slowly, it begins to twist and rearrange itself, morphing into something new. Within a matter of days, the process will be complete. Be prepared for whatever comes next. It's morphing. 
Maybe we should investigate it. But here's the thing. Both of my colonists are, are kind of... I don't want to say dumb, but they're not very smart. <laughs> they both have an intellect of two. You're back. What did you miss? Nothing much, really. We do need defenses. We should probably take that seriously. Make any stone block forever. Well, no, we probably shouldn't do forever. Let's say until we have... All right, I'll make a real bill. Make... We have slate, we have granite, we have marble. Okay, make... Granite blocks first until we have, oops, granite until we have 210, make marble until we have 210, make slate until we have 210. So we'll prioritize the marble blocks. More marble! It's doing stuff. I feel like we should investigate it. But in the trailer, the trailer said that we investigated it and then we made it angry. We're not prepared to make it angry yet. I'm not prepared for an angry monolith. Making a storage zone right here. This one's gonna be for blocks. If I could type. Tavern Party Remix again, chat. Okay, I heard this song though, I like this one. We have 40 blocks. Making an inanimate object angry is way scarier than it should be. Just a little upset. It's having a bad day. Everybody's allowed to have a bad day every now and then. Including the monolith. I'm trying to decide where I want to put the door. I think like here, here, I might only have those two openings and then a another door right here. Hi, Big and Shine. If there's food in this world, would that make it an a nom anomaly? Nom 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 Maybe. <laughs> Alright, I'm making doors. I'm making defenses. Do I have to worry about flamethrower hitting our traps? Do they have trap sense you know how your colonists and your animals have trap sense like they they just know magically not to walk over your 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 animals can sense these when calm but what about ghouls ghouls are not animals or colonists i mean they're colonists but they're not really i don't know that was... a pun was punny. It was punny. But we... we... We already... Made that joke a few times today. <laughs> I'm desensitized to the joke. I wasn't gonna say anything about it. Cause it's a good joke. It's just not the first time I've heard it today.
But speaking of nom nom noms, what should I have for lunch? What should we have for lunchtime today? I love these new torch lights. Oops. Yeah, what should we have for foods? Yeah, my nose is just being a jerk. <laughs> I pulled a tissue out of the tissue box and it spooked the kitty and he said, Rrr. He woke up to make noise at me and then went back to sleep. Tabs open. I could really do without my nose being all runny. Stupid allergies. Or both pizza and cookies. I don't have any cookies, but... I, I also don't have pizza. Okay, I don't have cookies or pizza, but what else could we have? Pizza cookie. I mean, do you think a pizza is a cookie? It's just a really big cookie. A very big cookie. Travesty is what I have without pizza or cookies. <laughs> this is true. Travesty. Let's put the steel over here, too. Steel. We'll just start moving things. Fancy meatloaf. I don't have that either. It's gotta be like streamer meal quick. All right, we are making defenses. We're making lights. We have three days and 17 hours until the monolith has finished twisting. Oh, my kitty is twitching in his sleep. Truer words were never spoken. Also, guys, you a hello. Protein shake. I've got that. I could make a protein shake. Since it looks like he'll be here a while, Asuka thinks we should give the faction a name. What should the faction be called? Asuka also thinks that we should give this settlement a name. What should we call the settlement? What do you think, chat? What say you? What are we gonna call this? Pottstown? Plus one vote for protein shake? Travesty Town. Okay. Travesty Town. Doomed. We're Satisfaction. <laughs> sure. Satisfaction. That's the name of our faction. We are Satis Castle Rock. Ghoulsville. Doomed! Just the name Doomed. Travesty Town. Satisfaction. Town. Travesty Town. Size 3. Castle Rock is where a lot of Stephen King novels go down. Isn't Castle Rock in Colorado? Look, the heel root looks different. It has a different plant. Little plant uh, animation. 
main. It's an actual natural monument in Michigan. I also feel like Castle Rock is in Colorado. One day since last schoolification. Yeah, Castle Rock, Colorado. It's a place. Okay, I'm gonna hold this door open. Hello, Arcania. There are probably over a dozen cities called Castle Rock in the US. There's a Castle Rock in Colorado, but you doubt it's the only city called that. Apparently there's one in Maine too. right here. Thanks. That's all I needed you for. Opening this door. I'm gonna put a spike trap there. Cool starvation. Uh-oh. They may attack if they're not fed soon. Malnutrition trivial. Meat hunger initial. This creature is ravenously hungry for raw meat. It may become hostile if it gets too hungry. What is too hungry? Are we talking initial meat hunger? Or the thing that comes after it? Let's have it attack the cassowary. Cassowary is mean. It's very, very, very mean and hard to kill. And so let's see how Flamethrower does against the cassowary. Cassowary revenge. I believe in your abilities, Flamethrower. Flamethrower doesn't bleed. Notice the lack of blood. Also, will flamethrower regenerate health in combat? We're up to 37%. Our goal our goal our goal is losing the battle with the cassowary. I'm sending help. Don't shoot flamethrower. <laughs> uh, maybe, maybe I'll send help over here to stand behind you. There, help. Help is on the way. Thirty-two percent. All right, good job, good job, flamethrower. Consuming cassowary of their own accord. Yeah, look at this. 33%. Let's watch their health just... They ate the whole thing! Thirty-four 34%. 35%. Everything is just healing. It's not any particular body part that's healing quickly, it's like all the body parts. Or are we focusing on one injury at a time? It looks like one injury, we're focusing on left leg scratch. Them birds are downright terrifying. You don't bleed, therefore he can't kill you. I mean, I assume we can kill the ghouls. Are you running without any other DLC? No, so we're using uh, Ideology and Biotech in addition to Anomaly. You've been lurking while you prep for D&D? &D? Ooh, when's D&D &D tonight? Imagine how much worse off the ghoul would be if it wasn't immune to all the bleeding. That's why we sent the ghoul to do the, to do the fight. And that's... This is on my checklist of reasons why ghouls actually seem pretty cool. Why have human come to help ghoul? Castle wary about you. <laughs> yeah, so it looks like we heal one injury at a time. Now we're healing the left foot. Because look, none none of these other injuries are healing quickly, just this one. Left 
left ear. It's just literally one body part at a time. I saw the torso flash. Or was it nose? It was nose. It flashes. And the color improves. Left leg. Oh, it wasn't flashing, it was changing color from red, I think, to yellow. This is interesting. I kind of expected, like, all the body parts to heal simultaneously, but it's... It's one wound at a time. Are the rest of them healing at normal speed? Yeah. That one just went down from 4.2 to 4.1. Or 4.3 to 4.1. The scratch of the left leg. So I think all the injuries are healing at Rimworld speed. And then it's just selecting another injury to heal at ghoul speed. Nom nom nom. Bird nom nom. <laughs> You're going to say it was a great feat of healing, but it's more like great healing of feet. Yeah, Finkenstein, it kind of is. D&D is at 8pm your time. It's a sci-fi game. Party's infiltrating a secret lab, which they just found out is overseen by an infiltrator from an enemy corporation. The infiltrator has replaced some of the furniture with mimics. <laughs> the new trees are handy. You think you would notice if you sat down and the couch was drooling on you? Oh, oh wait, don't wall this in. Don't, don't roof it. I could have noticed this sooner. Could have noticed that a little bit sooner. Gotta take the roof back off. You go oh, I forgot about the Tavern Party remix. Yeah, I forgot about it. I actually don't like this song. Not a fan. That's one I would have skipped. Ooh, the wall is built! You wouldn't notice until you sat down, by then it's too late. I should have built my doors one further apart so I could put a trap in between them. Oh well. Making spike traps. I know it has been four hours. I don't know how this is how this is going down exactly. It's kind of amazing. <laughs> Our monolith is still twisting. Flamethrower can sense the traps. I'm a little bit concerned about about this. Look at this. Lights. Lights chat. I got lights. I really like the torch lamps on the wall. Okay, we have defenses. I think I'm gonna leave this door closed, but keep the spike trap. We can open it if we need to. I'm gonna leave this one open though and put spike traps on both sides.
Maybe just a couple extra. I am a little bit worried though that our colonists are going to walk through the wrong doors and hit the spike traps. So what are we going to do about the lack of cook? We're down to 21 survival meals. Our rice is going to be harvested in like tomorrow. And nobody here knows how to cook. I'll make a stove, but it's not like we can really use it. Next thing we're going to need is a research bench, but everyone is kind of not very smart. We could play some words and find a cook. Well, my cook, IRL, is on a meeting. Which means I, I would have to have a protein shake. Oh my gosh, my cat is so asleep. His eyes are open. But the, the film is over top of it. He looks like a ghoul. <laughs> ghoul kitty. Here's what he looks like right now. His eyes are just like glossed over. That's that's what he looks like. The desk is right here. <laughs> He's just flopped. Flop. Yeah. <laughs> Kitty face. I took a picture of him being sleepy. You get a picture of, of an old pupper with her eyes like that. Look purely demonic. <laughs> what did Kitty do? He's sleeping. He's being a sleepy sleep. I heard mining. But first we're gonna build the spike traps. Ooh, I saw you use the other door. Rather than the spooky one. You haven't had Ty in a really long time. Why have Ty when you can be a... Make a protein shake. I was gonna say when you can be a protein shake. Maybe tomorrow my brain will... Wake back up. <laughs> I just... I don't think I slept very well last night. ADHD meds have no effect. Yeah, so you see how, despite this being an open door, they're taking the closed door now because they sense the traps. I wonder how that works. Like, on, on the coding side of it. Best you can be is a gluten stumble. Tomorrow is fry yay. It's true, tomorrow is fry yay. It's gonna be fry yay. You spotted the anomaly. It's the microphone. It was among us all along. Hi, make a sieve. Okay, I would actually like you to plant corn. I know you just finished planting all that rice, but let's plant corn now. Corn is cool. I like the new heel root art. It looks like tentacles. It seems appropriate. Little tentacles sprouting from the earth. Cool starvation again? Hmm. Okay, go get into a battle with a rat. GG. Okay, but eat that. Eat that rat. 
51% food. There's capybaras down here. There's rhinos. Something tells me that flamethrower would not survive a tussle with a rhino. But what about... Oh, there's a dead capybara down here and a dead rat. A wild man wanders in. Kinoya. Kinoya. Independent wild man. And they talking. Cave World Tender, Cave World Illuminator? Undergrounder, Ascetic, Jogger, Psychically Dull. This would be a good addition to our colony. Plus? Oh, no, no cooking skill. I was gonna say, plus there's cooking skill. No intellectual skill or cooking skill, which are the two things we're missing. But... I will attempt to tame you. Uh, nobody here can do it. Taming a wild man requires a level 7 in animals, and the best cap capable handler is Ghoul's Night Out with a 3. Cookie skill? Cookie skill? Cooking skill! Maybe I should let Flamethrower just wander the whole map. You won't get a good night's sleep because there's no box spring underneath the mattress in the Airbnb. Oh no! If we can't tame it, can you eat it? You know, I'm not sure who would win the battle. Because... Itakin are very good at melee. This is... This is a different xenotype. Oh, but you just wandered on into... Where the mega spiders live. I would... I would not wander there. Oh no. That's a very, very bad place to hang out. Strong melee damage and robust. Aggressive. Itaki and are very, very good at melee combat, but I'm not so sure that they're going to survive an altercation with two mega spiders. I hear some mining up here. Yes, I, I, I do know it's the ads again. They happen every 30 minutes. A minute and a half every 30 minutes. Now we're just taking a nap next to the mega spiders? Luckily, they're not feeling particularly aggressive. I think as long as if he doesn't attack them, he should be okay. Yeah, the music is really nice. Although this song makes me sad. I usually skip this one in particular because it's, it's kind of depressing. I don't know, it's... I need to turn off automatic home zone expansion. That's the one. That's the one. Clear home area. This is sort of kind of the home area, but not really. Welcome back, Ham. Not home zone. Maybe the Itaki will become one with the Mega Spiders and they can live together in harmony, but I really doubt it. I don't think that's gonna happen. There's a dead cassowary. So I think if we just let Flamethrower wander the whole map, and as long as we mark the corpses as unrestricted, he should just seek out his own noms and be fine. 
I do not know if I want to mark these two corpses as unrestricted. Just hanging out with the mega spiders? They're just, they're just hanging, they're buds. Rival. Wow. This wild man considers flamethrower to be his rival because he's a ghoul and ate meat. It's time for you to engage to engage in anomalous behavior. Yeah, I should probably do that too. This panther is downed. Has 94% health. But has extreme blood loss because it got into an altercation with the cassowary. It didn't quite lose. But I think... I think its wounds have just healed. As it's been downed. Because the rate at which it's bleeding, no immediate danger. Yeah, they're just coagulating and, and the wounds are healing. I think this panther will survive. Hi, the narrator. You're late. You're late. You've arrived precisely when you'd have meant to. Welcome in. Yeah, so I want to get all of these chunks out of our little hut. Remove from hut. Oh, you know what I forgot to do? Give them recreation. They hate it when they can't have recreation. God, give them their recreation. <gasps> the monolith, the monolith is twisting for four hours. I'm gonna pause it here, chat. I'm gonna pause it. I'm gonna save it. I'm not ending the stream. I just need to go eat something. It has been four hours, and I haven't taken another break. So I'm gonna take a break. I know you're just arriving on in and stuff, but... You know, you gotta do what we gotta do. There's no storage space. Yeah, we need a place to store our chunks too. Okie dokie. Well, we'll work on some of these things when we get back from break time. Uh, it's been four hours, so it's a good time to take a short break, do some stretching, get some snacks, maybe pet the kitty. <laughs> pet the sleepy guy. He is passed out. Ooh, it's also a good time to maybe take medications or things, stretch, refill our water bottles, water glasses, our drinks in general, or playing some more on stream. I still have the game open from yesterday. Assuming it didn't reset. It looks really weird, but it didn't reset. Dark Reader is confusing it. I installed the Dark Eater plugin and George on stream looks really weird. It might just be on my end though. <laughs> wow, it looks awful. It looks fine in OBS though, so that's all that matters. Yeah, it does look normal on stream. And the flamethrower, I still have I still have your lead of 165 points. You're on level 12. This is the game from yesterday. I'm gonna turn autopilot back on. Smug. Smug flamethrower. Yeah, it looks crazy on my side, but it looks okay for you. So that's all that matters. When I get back, we will continue on with Brimworld. I super duper appreciate you all being here today. Thank you very, 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 very much for all of your support today. We already hit the sub-golden thing. 
and and things. I have given up hope on my brain waking up. I don't think it's gonna happen. I think this might just be my day today. Well, I'm gonna go make a protein shake and see if that helps. So I'll be back shortly, everybody. Behave, no rioting. I'll be back. You might not be here when I come back. You'd be tired. Well, if if you're not here when I get back, Cody, sleep well. Thank you so much for joining us today. I'm tired too, and that sounds great. Anyways, chat. I will I will see you in just a few minutes. Enjoy the break time. Thank you for everything.
Is that a game over, I see? Is that a new game, I hear? Menace, hello. You're a marinara menace. Man Wait. Mm. Uh, my, my brain is just not with it today. It's really frustrating. You're Marina Romanes again. I got a, I got a word. Basically how this feels is that... I want to say one thing, but then the opposite, or something else comes out. Sometimes related. <laughs> related topics, but I, I say one thing, but my brain forms anomalous words and spits those out instead. So it's like point A, point B. Brain to mouth. Are not in agreement today. Who is Marinara Romanes? How are you able to change the the capitalization of your name? I thought you were only able to change your name like once every what, like six months? You can change the capitalization as much as you want. Oh. Those are allowed and free. Well then, menace away. Romanace away. 
<laughs> Look at me, I'm on the leaderboard! Hey chat, I might pause this here. Because I'm on the leaderboard. And I'm also back. Um, yes, I'm back. Thank you very, very, very much. For your patience for break time. I am struggling today. I really just want to be here hanging out with you playing RimWorld, but... <sighs> My... It's just... It... Things are not in agreement. <laughs> Thanks, Ham. The things in my my brain, I'm just, uh, uh, that's how I feel. Let's see. I think I might reassign flamethrower. You missed words for food. I had food too. I ate a protein shake. It was a very nami protein shake. So far, it hasn't helped. with making my brain work better. Hashtag streamer dinner. Are you saying that you're going to eat streamer for dinner? Protein shakes. Yeah, protein shake. So maybe the protein will help my brain just behave a little bit better. But honestly, like I was saying, while we had the word screen up, I'm, I'm thinking one thing, and just something else keeps coming out of my mouth. This has happened so many times today. This is just... I don't know. When, when I'm super tired, that's just what happens. My brain and mouth coordination <laughs> isn't quite there. So the reason why I chose to pause it when I did is because if we look right here, the monolith is twisting for four more hours. Your presence has caused the monolith to twist and morph. Soon the process will be complete. Be prepared for whatever comes next. Be prepared! Be prepared? Be prepared for what? <laughs> I don't know. Squids. Maybe. Maybe it's gonna be twisty tentacles. Maybe it's gonna... <laughs> gonna be a big hole in the ground. I don't know. I really appreciate you all hanging out for break time though. I hope you have fun with words or if you didn't do the words, maybe you went and did some health care. Self care? Some self care. So, mm, self care for yourself. I don't, I don't know how I'm gonna do the rest of this stream. It's, we got one hour left. One hour on the clock. We did put Flamethrower back... back in the ghoul pen. Maybe it'll ghoulify somebody. I hope not. The countdown. Be prepared for whatever comes next. I... I made defenses. So at the very least, there's that. They're not the most impressive defenses, but we have some. I maybe should have made sandbags. Well, it's too late now. We'll never know. I mean, I guess we'll know in what point one hours. It's happening. Void monolith. Transformation is almost complete. It exploded into a void monolith. As the monolith twisted and changed, Ghoul's Night Owl was overcome with a horrifying vision. In an instant, she understood. The monolith is a doorway, just barely cracked open now. Something dark beyond imagination stirs on the other side, 
seeping into our reality. Terrified but excited, Ghoul's Night Out is convinced she can learn more if given the time to study the monolith. Building category unlocked. Anomaly. Research tab unlocked. Anomaly. Anomaly. Doo -doo -doo. <laughs> this sounds like something we might want to avoid. Probably. Entity Codex unlocked. We can now study the monolith and other entities to gain anomaly research. View quest. You've activated the monolith. It is a conduit for psychic energy, just barely cracked open now. A mind of incomprehensible horror stor stirs on the other side and is now touching our world. The monolith seems to be partly active, and there seems to be no way to shut it down. To learn more, you must activate it further, which will require some special research. Current monolith level 1. In order to advance the monolith to the next step, you need to discover 8 basic tier entities. We discovered 2 of 8. A codex? Entity codex. This page lists all known entities which are related to the Dark Void. Discover new entities using the Void Provocation Psychic Ritual. Discovering new entities reveals new research projects and allows you to advance the Void Monolith. We only know two things. Ghouls and Void Monoliths. A monolith of unknown age, purpose, and construction. Its smooth surface is etched with lines that twist and writhe in unsettling patterns. Ghoul. A person implanted with an architect shard and twisted by dark psychic influences into a jittering murder machine. Research unlocked. Ghoul infusion, ghoul enhancements, and ghoul resurrection. OMG, look at all this uh, research in the anomaly tab. Ghoul infusion. Perform a surgery that infuses a living person with an architect shard, transforming them into a terrifying ghoul. They're strong melee combatants, but are incapable of doing work. They will go mad if they're not fed enough raw meat. Ghoul enhancements. Craft bioferrite prosthetics to make ghouls stronger. Adrenal hearts, corrosive hearts, ghoul barbs, ghoul planting, metal blood heart. The heck is a metal blood heart? A special bioferrite prosthetic that can pump a small amount of metal blood into a ghoul's bloodstream making it more resistant to damage for a short period of time. It causes widespread swelling, slowing the ghoul down. Due to the extremely painful nature of the prosthetic, only ghouls can tolerate it. That's a lot of ghoul stuff. It is a lot of ghoul stuff. A blanket of gritty fog has descended on this area. The fog smells ancient somehow, and it stings the skin. The unnatural grayness of it invokes a sense of dread. Hi, Vandalier. How are you doing? Can we make ghoul tea? The ghoulist. BG BG3 have added to their awards tally at the BAFTA Game Awards tonight. Noise. What did BG3 win this time? The music. This is different. This is different music. You can have a basic and advanced research project at the same time. Void provocation, bioferrite harvesting, entity containment. It's a basic project, advanced project, no active project. Research will not begin until you build a research bench. So the anomaly research doesn't require a research bench? I don't, I don't get the, the pop-up about 
No research bench. How do we advance this research? Player's choice, music and supporting roles for Raphael's voice actor. And best game of the ones you saw. Transport pod crash. An herbold urchin named Sez is crashing in a transport pod nearby. If she survives the impact, she will be badly wounded. She is from my, our enemy, the pest outfit. You can capture her for recruitment or slavery purposes. Are you smart? Or good at cooking? <laughs> no. <laughs> industrious though. And kind. How can you be industrious and a slowpoke? I guess they're different. This is global work speed, this is just movement speed. I mean... I don't really have a prison cell. Doesn't stop me from making one, though. Didn't guess we didn't see her. She is gonna bleed out in 10 hours. I'll just do some tending. In Industrious is mental and Slowpoke is physical. Yeah, I think it's something like that. Discovered anomalous entities replaces the research bench for anomaly research. Like the codex? How do we open the codex? It's this little book. Right here. It, this doesn't say that it replaces the research bench. It just says, we discover new entities using the Void Provocation Psychic Ritual. Discovering new entities reveals new research projects. The music is back. It's back. Asuka's still on the way. Are you A, smart, B, good at cooking, C, good at being cooked? I'm not gonna cook them. Hey there, Holler. You're so glad I'm shooting on YouTube now. You fell out of love with Twitch. So you're welcome there. The new song too? New songs, chat. So, Paula, are you just a YouTube convertee now? You meant to welcome me here. N no, welcome to my YouTube channel. I've been streaming to YouTube for a while now. A few months. Four? Four months? Hidden things will never be studied. So... The Entity Codex doesn't seem to replace the research bench. We discovered new entities using the Void Provocation Psychic Ritual. And that's how we fill out the Codex, but as far as research goes, actually performing this research? I'm not sure how we do it. Wait, Evil is back? Yeah, we animated it. 
gosh, does anybody read the Discord announcements? <laughs> does anybody read Discord? We're eating them raw. I don't know that we're doing that either. Oscar is just kind of like hanging out down here. No. <laughs> I guess let's put chunks in this pile right here. It will be a chunky pile. Okay, so we've patched says up because I says so, but they still need to be captured. I just I don't have a prison cell. So I cannot do that. I will prioritize building the door, expand the home zone to include this, and then we need to put down a sleeping spot. And make it a prisoner sleeping spot, and then I need to send Asuka back to- uh, No, let's send... Ghouls. To go and capture Sez. Asuka is, uh, a little hungry. Used to be subbed on Twitch to me, and now... That you're owning a new home, you just don't have the time sometimes to watch Twitch live. YouTube's the easiest way to see your creators now. Well, hey, if that works, that's awesome. Yeah, I had nail polish on, like gel. Gel nail polish. I've been peeling it all off. It's very satisfying. Harbinger tree spout sprout. Harbinger trees have sprouted nearby. These gnarled trees grow flesh-like coverings and can feed on corpses and raw meat placed nearby. If well-fed, the grove will continue to grow. In a tribal myth, these trees are the emissaries of a shapeless god who rules an endless black ocean. The myth ends after the shapeless god reaches up from the water and tears down the sky. Obviously then, creating black octopus sea <laughs> okay but yeah harbinger tree this the grove is all the way over here we'll consume corpses and meat placed nearby Wait, we have a place to put corpses now. I saved the game reminder, you got it. Thank you. Yes, yeah, so you have like gel nail polish on, and it's just really satisfying to peel it off. And there, there's my nail. Morbid. It's just the nail polish, don't worry. <laughs> Something that consumes corpses would be rather useful in Dwarf Fortress. It's also very useful in RimWorld. It is very useful in RimWorld. Can't see a dang thing. Okay, yeah, that should be a big enough zone. I'm going to put corpses here. Not animal corpses, because we can actually use those for food. It didn't specify fresh or rotten corpses. It just said corpses. Okay, look, we have a prisoner! It says! Ooh, yeah, the menu is a little bit different. Maintain only. Recruit. I want to recruit them. I don't think we have a warden. We do have a warden. Yeah, the menu's a little bit different. Wait, no, convert them. 
We want to convert them to our ideologian first. Their ideologian is the Ilwaban Way, a supremacist raider ideologian. Raiding and slavery is respected and honorable executions required. Our ideologian is Pain Chamber, which is an interesting name that the game came up with. I forgot that if we used a prefab ideologian that we had to change the name. <gasps> something something else is happening. But so this is the ideologian that comes now with anomaly. The memes are pain is a virtue and ritualist. Research is extremely slow, but void study is very efficient. Comfort is ignored. We should pay no attention to comfort. Pain is idealized. To experience nerve singing pain is a mark of morality. Rough living is welcomed. Psychic rituals are exalted. Scarification? Minor. We have scars is good. Slab beds are preferred. I haven't played an ideology like this. Pain chamber. Mm-hmm. A twisted creature has appeared out of thin air. The Sight Stealer. This is the invisible creature. Emaciated and misshapen humanoids. Their arms end in sharp curled claws formed from bioferrite. Sight Stealers are fragile, but use psychic influence to render themselves invisible until they get close to their victims. They are known to emit haunting screams as they gather on their terrible hunts. Can't see it. But it's okay, flamethrower's here. It it looks like a skeleton monster thing. I think flamethrower is losing the fight. Dark psychic invisibility. This creature is psychically twisting the perceptions of humans, animals, and machines in the vicinity in such a way as to seem invisible. Their eyes receive the eye receives their image as normal, but the mind cannot perceive it. Dread leather. We can make all our clothes out of dread leather. It's not yet discovered. Sight stealer. It also has no stats. New research available. A proximity detector. Your discovery of the sight stealer has yielded new insights. You can now research the proximity detector. Okay, but how? Ooh. The screams are horrible. Yeah. Roar. Maybe he will help. Help is on the way. Okay, never mind. Flamethrower handled it. Oh, it went down and it got back up. Is it, is it dead for real this time? Downed cannot crawl. I think we should continue to try to kill it. This music is all different. It's dead. Chat is dead. I killed it. Flamethrower is going to eat it. Don't eat it. Eat something else. I want to butcher it for dread leather. You gotta find something else on the map. Or at least try. It is so dark, I can't see. You know a way to not be affected by the invisibility thing. A mortar strike. Mortar strike. Mine, 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 mine. It's all... I mean, it is about to be all yours. There's nothing to eat. I don't... I don't see any... corpses. Oh! There's a, a rotting rat. I wonder if... If that's edible. No. I can't target a rotten creature. Okay, so they can't eat rotten corpses. Oh, here's one! Eat that instead. <laughs> yeah, eat that instead. Dead cassowary. 
Next, we need a butcher table. I like the new music. The question is, is this from the Rimworld OST or is this P music? I don't know. Does P music have new music? Uh, did we just put the, the corpse over there? <gasps> it's these corpses! Asuka's moving... The, the dead bodies of whoever was here before. There was Gracie, the shaman, and then this is... Oh, Reed, the gatherer. It is eating a desiccated corpse. Wow. Okay, but how do I tell it? Entity corpses. We probably shouldn't feed it entity corpses either. At the very least, because I want to butcher it for leather? I gotta see how cool... Dread leather is. That just sounds metal. Can you not go to sleep yet? I'm sorry. I need you to work on this. They do rot. Spoils in 2.3 days. Right. Let's see. Butcher creature. Details. Yes, entity corpses. So, question is, who's the cook? Looks like Ghoul's Night Out because she has a skill of one. What if the dread is from me? Dread leather. Thick, tough leather taken from some monstrous creature. The surface is covered in ugly scars and whorls. What is a whorl? And smells faintly of rotten meat. Most people will be unhappy if made to wear apparel from this. Most people? But what about the pain chamber? We have a ritual called the Peeling of Archism. A ritualistic scarring where a cutter carves ideological symbols into a target. The audience will watch as the cutter gives a speech, performs the cutting, and then says some finishing words. <laughs> Appealing. Cutting, aka peeling. Prisoner sacrifice! Are we required to sacrifice prisoners? I don't know that I want to really do that. Elephants are a venerated animal. What was that? The alpaca hit my trap. Oh, I know what I was looking at. I was looking at this. I don't know if we have a preferred clothing type. Doesn't seem like it. No preferred apparel. A pattern of spirals or concentric circles. Now we've got some more room in here. We can make a, a research bench. I guess let's make it out of steel. Gotta make some bedrooms, too. Would I say that I found the ritual to be not very appealing? Yes. I, it's not very appealing. We're gonna need a lot of things. We're gonna need power. We 
in order to run the proximity detector and the holding platform, I think we just need to set it up. Down entities can be captured and secured on a holding platform where they can be studied for anomaly knowledge. So it seems like dread leather is not very cool. So we probably should have captured them to study them. I wonder what Samuel is going to do. Who who is Samuel? A group of visitors. Yes, please come join our. Uh, come visit. Yes, we're gonna need the research bench. I still don't know how we do the other research. Maybe we also do this on the research bench. Wait, no, no, we're just studying it. Void provocation is already partially researched. You best to get these great mob packs in the workshop. You always like his collections. I don't know, for the most part, this is vanilla, and it's... It's been interesting enough. I'm not even sure what mods would be needed. Consuming twi- Oh, twisted meat! We got it from the... Entity. Always like his coal booptions. Thanks, Buttspot. How he theme a collection around it? Oh yeah, no, I get it. I, I understood what you meant. I'm just saying at this point... The... The vanilla content... I don't know that there's necessarily more content in Anomaly than there were in the others, but it's just, it's... I'm not sure what mods you would pair with it, I guess. Because I know that there are a lot... ...of different... ...kind of mods that were already leaning into... ...the horror theme, or, you know, zombies, or... ...Lovecraftian themes. This seems to be checking a lot of boxes. So as far as what kind of mod collection, I don't know. Our visitors are already leaving. Look at all this pile of crap on the floor. So since we like slab beds, I guess we should make some of these. Genetic rim could do well. I don't think I've ever played with that one. There's a little opening right here. A new quest. A poor traveler named Orange is approaching looking for help. Orange is begging for two medicine. He wants the medicine to save... She wants the medicine to save her loyal pet who was injured on the road... Oh my gosh. Save your pet? I, I will give you two medicine to save your pet. Try to arrest Orange. Give 2x medicine to Orange. It's just two medicine. We can spare it. Had a very mad scientist vibe that already melded pretty well with biotech. Yeah, that seems like it could be cool. <laughs> I 
I'm so sleepy. I think I'm just gonna reinstall the regular beds for now. Because we could build slab beds later, but we probably want to be making those out of marble, right? That tends, that tends to be the case. Most things want to be made out of marble. Marble is pretty. Okay, so we need to get someone in the colony who has who has some smarts. We also need some food. I'm just realizing we have no food. <gasps> oh my gosh, Commander Rudd! Thank you for the thousand bits! Thank you, thank you! Yes, Bless the thousand bits earlier. Oh my gosh, that's so sweet of you. Thank you. And we met the big goal for the day. Now we're 8 out of 15 points. Over halfway to BG3. Thank you so much for the support, Commander Run. That is super hype. Yeah, super hype. I need, like, purple pom-poms. <laughs> pipe, pipe, pipe. Let's make some food. Gas station boxers! Thank you so much for the raid! Hello! Were you Rimworlding? You sure were. How was Rimworld treating you? Epic Clown Streams! Hello! Welcome in! Hi, you're back. Welcome back! <laughs> it's nice to see you again, I think, for the second time today. Did you have a good time with RimWorld? We are... We're still playing the same... Same run. And what is the deal with airplane food? Hi, Boofin. Did you have a bad experience with some airplane food? We're in... We're in this cute little colony. Look, we have walls and stuff. Great start on the colony. You enjoy the different race scenarios and stuff, but your pupper is going bananas because it's been raining all day and he's cooped up in the house, so you gotta take him outside. Oh, will your doggo not go outside on on his own when it rains? <laughs> My dog is like that too. He's like, it's raining. I don't want to go outside. <laughs> oh, we can't move these lights once we build them. I'm gonna move this one. Colony's looking good. Yeah, we already have the farm set up and we built some walls and some defenses. It's really if a human gets if I get wet, human gets wet scenario. Yeah. My dog is like this too. If I gotta get wet from the rain human, so do you. Yeah, you two have had the same idea. <laughs> yeah. That's how Kuma's always been. If it's raining, he just he won't go outside. And he'll he'll make you walk out there with him. So we have experienced some spooky anomalies. We got attacked by a sight stealer. We don't have power yet though. So we're working on getting some power. But also everybody here is not exactly the sharpest knife in the knife box. So when I say we're getting research done, we're getting no research done. Look at this. We have nothing, nothing happening because they're they're just they're not very smart. I guess someone's gotta do it though. 
Not the brightest bulb in the knife drawer. <laughs> Not the brightest bulb in the knife drawer. Thanks for the 100 bits, Mariner Menace. <laughs> and gas station boxers, thank you for the 200 bits. Checker. Checker. And starting the high train. The hype train has left the station. He's a spoiled boy, but he's been very good all day, so you should take him out. You'll be lurking. Have a nice walk in the rain. And thank you for starting a hype train. I even have the whistle. <laughs> Was a sad whistle. You're also finding it difficult to progress with two colonists and a third mouth to feed. Yeah, it looks like we're feeding the dead alpaca to the prisoner, which is always a good start. Oh my gosh. We're making our first meal. Probably has food poisoning. <laughs> Thank you all so much for the bits. I really, really appreciate the support. We hit the sub goal and the big goal today. And why did nobody tell me that my goals were in the wrong spot? Oh my gosh. Terrible. And look, I got a doggo cam. I think my prisoner's gone berserk. I'm tabbed out. I'm tabbed out! Yeah, berserk. This happened because of a poor mood. All right, I'm gonna send, I'm gonna set the ghoul on you. At the very least, it's like having a super soldier that's really easy to take care of. I hope we don't accidentally kill them though. Good job, flamethrower. Good job, now don't eat them. Don't eat them. You've been scritched by a ghoul. We all know what happens to unruly prisoners. Well, what I do find weird about them is that they, when they wander, they just stand there. The action currently is wandering, but this is not the first time that flamethrowers just stood in place. Okay, now wander and wander off. But you want to eat them. But I wanna. Fingers crossed on the food poisoning thing. Chemical starvation. I'm interested in drugs. I want to consume drugs really badly. Well, I don't know what to tell you. <laughs> Conversion. Goals night out. Tried to convert says. Says was convinced and changed ideologies. All right, you know what that means. Recruitment time. Although, I thought because of the ideology, rough living is welcomed. We don't need to separate ourselves from the rough living of nature. Extreme temperatures don't bother us as much. Comfort is ignored. We should pay no attention to comfort. But then you're over here complaining about awful barracks, awful bedroom. I thought we weren't complaining about these luxuries. Nose is so itchy today. So should we make a an anomaly room? Room for our anomalies. Anomalous. Anomalous in these. This is how big is this? This is three by three. Also, thank you very, very much for the follow. A little bit ago. I appreciate it. Welcome, welcome. Give it a nom delicious prisoner. I'm not gonna do that.
Also, thank you all very much for the support. I appreciate the bits. Thank you for the hype train. Twitch says we missed it, but I disagree. Thank you so much. I, I want to recruit the delicious prisoner. I don't want to eat them. Although I'm sure Flamethrower would eat them. If given the opportunity. So I'm realizing that we can feed corpses, like desiccated corpses, to the trees. Oh, they grew flowers! Okay, we're gonna have to go a little bit splitsies on this zone. Because I'm gonna make a, a different zone. Here. This is gonna be for... Rotten... Corpses. Maybe... Yeah, human-like. No colonist corpses. All... Maybe no mechanoid corpses. But yes. Rotten animal corpses. Rotten human-like corpses. This up here... It's going to be for fresh corpses, not mechanoid corpses, not colonist corpses, not animal corpses. Just raiders, because we don't want our colonists to get fed to the, to the trees, and we don't want our food to get fed to the trees. Mechanoids, can they really consume mechanoids? Was it organic flesh? We'll consume corpses and meat placed nearby. It does kind of insinuate that they will eat mechanoids. Okay. So with that... Theoretically, we could, we could find all the little skeletons on the map and feed it to them. Hey, Yvonne! Hello to you! Yeah, and I might avoid those two. Well, we can feed it this dead chinchilla. Raiders? You mean compost? Compost. <laughs> yes, Russell, that's exactly what I mean. <laughs> thank you for the hunter bits, Mariner Menace. Thank you, thank you. Fresh animal corpses can go there. The ripeness of your bananas is somewhere between booze and penicillin. That sounds disgusting. Just saying. That is an unacceptable level of ripe. Very British way of saying compost. He's a... I mean, it's an Australian accent, so I guess it was a very Australian way of saying it. There are two skeletons there, but I don't know that I want to wander into... The Mega Spider Den. Just go grab some corpses. I'm not even sure this is going to work. Theoretically, it should work. Calling rat dead to a dumping stockpile zone. How do we follow them again? H? Oh no, that's a different mod. That's follow me. Oh, yeah, follow me. We are putting it in the right spot. So it should consume them. Are you gonna eat that? Being consumed by the harbinger tree! There's a use for random corpses now. 
Desiccated animal corpses. There's a use. Being consumed by the tree. Wow, that's exciting. A dead chinchilla. Someone wanted to come in here and grab these two skeletons. That's that's an option. Here's a dead rat. Are they growing more flowers? Being consumed by the trees. Hi there, Tyler. Eat me, Seymour. Feed me. Yeah, what's what is our preferred diet? I don't. Does it matter? We don't want to eat elephants. Nutrient paste is disgusting. Cannibalism, disapproved, organ harvest, no harvest, insect meat despised. So we don't care about being vegetarians, which is, seems to be kind of what's going to happen because flamethrower is going to eat all the corpses. It's raw meat or corpses. And corpses are kind of an and or thing, you know, like raw meat or corpses, so which is corpses and or raw meat so yeah we're gonna have to grow i think a lot of veggies night of the living trees you were able to get your parents dog out out of that wild dog sitting but you have not had to be there as much he's back to know when it's raining silly silly doggos Yeah, when we used to live like in apartments and stuff, trying to get Kuma to go on walks when it was raining was really challenging. <laughs> he just wouldn't do it. <laughs> it would, you have to force him to go. But what he did love afterwards was the towel game. So, you know, towel game. Basically, holding up a towel and then being like, Let's play Kuma, and he would just dive into it, and then you just rub it, <laughs> rub him all over, and he loves that game. And so we, I still do that to him after a bath. He hates, he hates bath time, but at least he can enjoy that. Growth rate one hundred and fifty percent. They're growing because we've fed them corpses. Oh, this is the worst day to be so tired. <gasps> I thought that all the mega spiders were chasing the Itakian. Somehow they're still alive. They haven't been eaten by mega spiders. You think you're gonna slowly dissolve in your bed? That sounds like a plan. I kind of want to do that. I sort of kind of want to do that myself. And that's why today is the, the worst day to be so tired because I want to I want to play Rimworld Anomaly. I've been looking forward to this for the last month, and then I'm. So sleepy, it's rude. Do we already know how to make? A windmill? I don't... A wind turbine, yeah we do. Oh. Well yeah, we should make a wind turbine then. It's so cool. <laughs> I'm so tired. I'm so tired that I'm like, I'm, I'm here and I'm playing, but I feel like I'm only half here. 
if you know what I mean. Okay, holding platform needed. I'm I'm working on it. I love the little heel roots when you when you grow them now. Okay, what if we did this? What if we streamed extra long tomorrow? Assuming that I actually get some sleep and I'm not so tired. Because I'm so tired, like, I just, I can't even sit up straight in my chair. <laughs> I don't know what my problem is today. A transport pod crash. Right here! A- Whoa! A transport pod carrying a ravenous... Hostile ghoul has landed nearby. On closer inspection, it appears to be Doctor. A previous member of your crew. The ghoul is currently in shock, but it will soon recover and attack anyone it sees. It can be captured to a holding platform for further study. Capture or kill it before it wakes. But it's Doctor! A previous crew member! En enemy researcher of the dark enemy entities. Her name is literally Ally. Ally Purple. This was this is one of the characters that we had the opportunity to choose from when we were rolling our pawns. Yeah, they landed on the trap too. <laughs> no, enemy. Enemy is correct. Uh, they are they are our enemy, yeah. <laughs> of the dark entities. Thank you for the 100 bits, Marinara Mess. <laughs> yeah, this is the same person. They have the same traits. They... Uh, luckily, they're not related to these colonists, but yeah. So, they're an enemy researcher. And we can't convert them because they're a ghoul. They're not part of any of these factions. Maybe we can reverse the glorification or whatever if we capture them. Or maybe they're like zombies and it's irreversible. You don't know. I don't know either. I am going to try to capture them, but I want to put the platform in this room right here. Which is not going to happen at the rate we're going. We don't even have enough wood to make a light. I guess I can just place it. Capture Doctor. Yeah, we can pick it up and move it later, so... Okay, we've captured a ghoul. A previous member of... Our... Hooray! I accidentally just answered a phone call. I was trying to ignore it and I answered it. I just hung up on them. <laughs> Alright, Dr. Purple. Captured. I don't know that we can reverse it. We can study them. We can release them. We can maintain. Medicine. Oh, wait, is this how we do our research? On the research tab, the anomaly tab. We're, we're, we're progressing this research somehow. I'm not 100% certain how we're doing it. 
It might be from reading the book. Yeah. It is. Void provocation. 0.3 per hour. We're advancing void, void provocation research. From reading this tome. Thank you for the bits, man, Aramis. I don't think that we can we can reverse it. We'll soon recover and attack anyone that sees. Why is this? Why is flamethrower like a a safe ghoul, whereas doctor is a, a scary ghoul? A dark entity. You're just, you're just a dark entity. They're an entity of darkness. As opposed to Flamethrower. With a name like that, you can't be an entity of darkness. You're literally throwing flames. There's light everywhere. <laughs> yeah, we're all getting low on food. The corn is growing. We might want to plant more rice. We did get a heal root harvest, though. The layman... Layman... Werfer. Flame thrower. Harbinger tree sprout. Another one sprouted. The grove is continuing to grow. Do we defeat this one as well? Or can we feed these two and expand the grove? I'm gonna test it and see. Okay, but back to what I was saying before. Oh, uh, I was distracted by the transport the transport pod crash from the sky. I'm so tired right now that I, I feel like I'm not enjoying Rimworld to the fullest possible extent. And I don't want to promise a longer stream tomorrow. Because I don't know if I'm going to be awake enough for it, right? But... I'm just, I'm just struggling to be awake and engaged. Melatonin hours. Thanks for the hydration, Antique Raven. Shimmer, go sleep. I do want to take a nap. The nap sounds really good. Note that I won't fall asleep on time. I even thought about a nap and wanted to yawn. Okay, let's do that. Let's do streamer sleep. Get some sleep and go tomorrow. Well, that's my plan, okay? But hopefully, I'm not... I, like, I went to bed last night at a normal time and woke up at normal times. I'm just so tired today. I don't know why. The horrors weigh heavily on upon my personage. <laughs> We're gonna have to sleep it off. Recover from the horrors of today's stream. Did I already save? Did I, did I just do this? I'm gonna do it again. I'm only ending, like, 35 minutes early. It could be worse. And tomorrow, we can we can pick back up. I might get spoilers, though, because other people are going to be streaming this, and it's going to be spoiler territory. I'm glad that we got to go into this spoiler-free for the most part. I mean, besides the announcements. I didn't even read the... Subsequent posts that Ludion had detailing some of the content in the DLC. I don't know any of it. So, tomorrow will be a fun stream. I have a lot of plans for what we can do. We're gonna expand the mountain base. Gotta think about the design a little bit. We need to get some power going. That's all stuff for tomorrow. Let's do this. Get some sleep and just go tomorrow. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sounds good to me. 
I appreciate you all being here today. I had fun with Anomaly. Thank you for, for coming into the stream or for raiding over and hanging out. Thank you for all the support. We got a lot of bits today. We got 50 subs and resubs and things. Some some big resubs. The many, many years of resubs. We had like a whole decade. A whole decade's worth of resubscriptions, which is crazy. Aw, thanks, Flamethrower. I hope I do too. This is such a bummer on Anomaly Day to be so out of whack. I mean, I guess it's appropriate. <laughs> Anomaly. It's the cube. I think it's the cube's fault. It's gotta be the cube. Thanks, George. Thanks, Flamethrower. Thanks, Panorific. Thanks, for Ronin. Thanks, Yvonne. Thanks, Antique Raven, and Manera Menace. Gossam Regula, Braxis Arcania, Lemon Ducky. You are all awesome. I appreciate your support. I couldn't be here without you. You are just the best. That's an Emmy right there. Look at her. She's so cute. How did I get all the way over here? I migrate while I'm streaming, I'm telling you. Thanks, Mutopian. And thanks, Alistair. Yeah, I'm gonna try to convince myself not to take a nap. But nap sounds really good. Oh man. Are you so tired? Um, why don't we go and raid Alana? Alana is also playing Anomaly. Listen to my body. Take a nap. Take a nap. Take a nap. Take a nap. It's Friday! It's still early. It's still Thursday for me, but happy Friday to you. The doggo must be a ghoul affecting me with sleepiness. Speaking of ghouls... The new Fallout series is out. I'm kind of excited about that. I'm going to stop the YouTube stream here. 